Hello everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome back to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on what has been an incredible day so far. It's safe to say a launch that you guys have been waiting for. There has been a lot of hype around it, a lot of expectation, and we have been already very busy on the brand new launch of our Deep Border Creator Card dies. We'll get into that in just a second. I must just mention that it's a busy old day over on the website for you as well as our April showers event continues. Uh, the deals are raining down. That's what. That's how I'm kind of positioning this. April showers, not good. Our April showers are brilliant. 15% off embossing folders and stencils on the website. That continues for you today. And also, uh, if you were watching yesterday, you'll know we had our big Color Me Happy third anniversary shows with Leanne. To celebrate that, we had the code on individual Spectrum Noir products, uh, the code CM810. You'll see that on the website. Those deals are still live for you on the web. There's an individual section when you hit the home page uh, and it runs until Thursday. So 10% off individual Spectrum Noir items with that code CMH10. Definitely worth having a delve around the website because you're going to be there anyway, picking up this brand new launch, which I've got to tell you. Now, as always, we have uh, a standard bundle and we put together a showstopper for you as well. It's an incredible showstopper today. And if you're thinking, oh, it's the official launch two minutes in, you know, they probably previewed it a bit on Wake Up Call, probably we're going to hear like, I don't know, 20% of the stock has gone. Over half the stock has already gone. If you've just tuned in, you know the drill by now. You tune in for Wake Up Call to grab the deals. There is going to be a mad scrum during this show to get your hands on these dies. Sarah's going to show you all around them in just a second. I just want to take you around the showstopper where you will get all of these brand new dies plus all of these extras. And the deal is incredible here because we're going to give you a selection of our gilding flakes, the cosmic gilding flakes. You'll get the essentials in our aqua markers as well. Plus, this cardstock is coming to you, our luxury cardstock, the 12 by 12, where you get a mixture of the linen and that beautiful Pearl Effect cardstock. All of that comes within the bundle. Now, if you were to check out those three items uh, as a separate basket, that would be costing you an extra £54, uh, an extra $69. Today in the bundle, it's an extra 20, which is incredible value for money. Here's the deal as well, if you're platinum, you're down to £80 or $96, and just to add even further reason to buy if you're in the US, free shipping. Yes, free shipping. We're super busy across this. Um, we'll, I'll talk around the standard bundle in a second. If you want to go individuals, you can, but everyone's going for the showstopper. Be quick on this. Over half the stock has gone. But what's all the clamor about? Why is everybody so excited about these brand new creator card dies? Well, the lady over the other side of the studio knows exactly why, because here to officially launch them, it is the lovely Sarah. Over half the stock's gone, Sarah, already. Yes, I know. Do you know what? I've had to have words with that Debbie Fisher. <laughs> this, they actually had to come and get me to say, there is a chance, Sarah, that this is going to sell out during your show. <laughs> what do you want us to do? So we're not, are, are we going to have to pull Debbie Fisher off air early? What, what's going to happen? So I'm just telling you now, as I'm standing, if you're watching us live, as I'm standing here, we are fine. We have stock. You can either go for the complete collection or you can go for the showstopper. What's actually going to sell this out is that a lot of people are going for individuals they as are. well. So what you might find is some of these, and it's actually the garden lattice that's in, in, the, in the lead at the moment, that will then sell out and then we won't have a collection of six, we'll only have a collection of five. And then you know when the next one sells out, we'll be down to a collection of four. I'm just gonna warn you now, when you see the dies, you Incredible. are gonna love these. Now, it's a brand new concept from us, okay? And what it is, it's a little bit like a smash up between, <laughs> like a fancy you can tell I've been a, it was an answer smash bed. answer smash I was you, doing you, a game show yesterday, yesterday guys I'm all about the, the uh, smash ups and um, basically we've got a smash up between our nesting dies and our creator card dies. You know how much you love the nesting dies. Yep. We've never ever done a creator card die, but given it the nesting feel that goes with it. So let me just ex show you exactly what we're talking about. So for example, this one here, here's your Baroque frame, okay? It's actually three parts in the die. You've got the outer frame, you've got the creator card, and you've got the inner part on its yep. own. So let me just show, let me show you on the overhead camera, right? So here we go. We've got the outer one. Yes. We've got the inner one and we've got the creator 
create the card, right? So what you can do, Ben, is you can either use these two together, just these two on their own, create a beautiful frame, yep. right? Or you can use just this one here and create a background panel. Yep. Or you can use just this and do a cut-in style as though you're doing a creator card. Or you can do this with a cut-out if you want to do a panel. Mm -hmm. Or you can do this with a cut-out with the panel, with the frame around the outside, and make a lovely big background piece. So yep. it shows you each one multiple different ways to use it, okay? Now, I'm going to just show you a few cards. These are the cards that I'm going to be teaching you over the course of the show, nice. right? Nice. So, we're going to be learning, first of all, just how to use a basic creator card cutting into the front of the card. How incredible, Ben, do they know? And by the way, they're all mix and match. Yeah. All six of them, you can mix and match any of the designs. So we're going to, every time, we're going to do this beautiful, like, an interior frame. Or you can do the exterior frame. So this mm -hmm. is interior frame matted and laid. This is the exterior frame cut out, right? Or what about doing something like this one? Love this, oh, right? Oh, hello. So, and we're going to build up to this, Ben. If you've always wanted to do a K card, card, stay tuned. I'll teach you a K card. This is your creator card style cutting. They're beautiful creator cards. But then with the border die around the outside as well, it just takes it to the next level. Um, I am actually going to show you, this is one of my favorite types of cards to do at the Ooh. moment. I'm a little bit obsessed with these at wow. the moment. They are a see-through shaker card, right? So the shaker card, with all the shaker, it sees right through to the inside of the card, right? I'm going to be teaching you that one over the course of the show. Amazing. Um, oh, look at these. Dawn Pro. Now, creator cards, there's so many different styles of cards you can yeah. do. How fabulous does this look, though? We've got the dorm front, but I've done the dorm front with just the frame around the outside, put the creator card in the background. So it's not even as a creator card this time, it's just a beautiful lattice background. And um, we're going to be doing some nice... Now, I love these for oh, paper piecing. Wow. They've been designed with paper piecing right front and foremost. That... Paper piecing in this one is just to die for. Uh -huh. Didn't you say Debbie had done some paper piecing earlier as well? Yeah. Yeah, I love the paper. And then look at how much... Um, it's, it's like a creator card, but with an extra level of elevation Absolutely. with the frame on the outside. Uh, boxes, you can be doing boxes with all of these. So this Incredible. is put into the front lid of the box, but then how fabulous does it look with this around the outside? Now, the six designs, right? Because you are going to want all six, they are very, very different, mm. right? So they've all got fancy names. This one's your garden like this. That one is the most popular. Yes. Just to warn you all, that one is the one that's been the most popular. It's going to sell the whole bundle out, OK? This one here is your Baroque frame. This is going to be my first demo. I personally love this because it's so ridiculously intricate, mm -hmm. OK? This one here is your Stylish Swirls. I think this is possibly your most versatile one. I also love the frame on this one. Very, mm. very usable. Even if you just got these for the frames, Ben, they'd be brilliant yeah. for just the frames. There's my fave is you love the Moroccan tile. Yes. Do you know what? That Moroccan tile is wonderful to use as a background. Look how it's been used in the background there. Daddy did that earlier. Gorgeous. Did you do that one earlier? Yeah. Love that. I also love this. If you want to do a bit of paper piecing with it. Oh, yes. I'm going to do a little bit of colouring on acetate with it. Nice. Yeah, we've got all sorts to oh, show you in this yeah. show. Uh, the, oh, the floral. That's the one that's really lending itself well to the paper mm. piecing. It's called Contemporary Blossom. And then finally, this is your English Heritage, which is the one... Can you see it's got the lovely thistles in there? You see lots of different themes coming through. That's the one I'm going to be showing you the creator card with. Loads of different techniques to do. It's all of your techniques that you would do with all of your creator cards. Then you've got the benefit of the nesting die. You've got the benefit of having the frame with it. Loads Loads of little hints and tips. This is the sort of show where I keep a little notebook because you'll pick up quite a lot of hints and tips as we go on of how to use all the different frames and whatnot. But what I will say is everything mixes and matches. Six designs all mix and match. I'm going to get ready for the first demo, Ben, because I'm going straight into it. I've got so much to show you in this show, guys. We are so busy right now. Do you know what? I know so many of you set your alarms this morning and got up early, but there's obviously a lot of people that didn't uh, because you are buying right now. We are off the chart busy so far. Stephanie's joined us from New Jersey. Diane's in, uh, Alicia's in from Arkansas. Terry Anderson says, great morning from Medina, Ohio. Uh, Sherry Masters joins us from Missouri. Hey to Lillian, he says, hello, Sarah. Hi, Ben. I've ordered the showstopper. I cannot wait to see the demos. Uh, and Julie Kimber says, good afternoon, guys. I was so impatient for these fabulous dyes that I drove to Chesterfield this morning <laughs> and got them in store. Uh, wow, that is commitment. <laughs> that is dedication, Julie. She says, I'm in love with them. 
them. Uh, and Laurie Barnett says, good morning from Gilbert, Arizona. I have ordered all six. There's so many of you shopping and the showstopper is the most popular. However, we do realize there are different budgets. There are different ways that people like to shop. If you just want to go for the brand new dies on their own, here's the deal for you. Again, really, really great value. You're at 80 pounds, $100. Uh, and the platinum price, again, 20% off. So you're at 64 pounds or $80. Uh, it's a 22% saving, which is incredible, isn't it? When you think we've got a brand new launch, I always say this, you know, a brand new launch, you think, well, it be, should be the launch price, surely the price that they should be. No, we just take off 22% and then we let you have your club inspired discount on top. So you're at 64 pounds or $80. And as we said, um, if you decide that you just want to pick and choose, you've got the ability to go individually as well, but go quick. However, you're going to fill up your basket with these, whether you go individually, make your own bundle, standard bundle, showstopper bundle, go quickly uh, because I'm hearing the numbers being fired at me by producer Johnny and we've still got an hour and 50 to fill here. We could be in trouble because we are very, very busy. Go, go, go. Alicia says, I'm calling it now. Uh, Sarah, the dome card with the daisies is the card of the show. Boom, oh, says Alicia. The dome card that with one, the daisies, right, this one. That one, yeah. She says that's her card of the show already. You haven't seen me make it yet, guys. <laughs> uh, I've got loads that I think I'm going to call it. I think they create the K card. card. I think everyone's got, but honestly, the one, one on that the you're all, the one that you're all going to be wanting to make that as soon one. as these arrive is going to be the see-through shaker card. Yes. Cards. And that's Ben's favourite design, that one as well. I agree with you, I might yeah. make this one for you, Ben. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. He's my favourite. <laughs> It's going to be my birthday in 12 days because we're making each other a yes, card Yes, no, we've year. forgotten. My birthday first. He's making yeah. me a card too. Yeah. Right, OK, so are we ready to get going? Now, yes. I, I thought I would try and do a simple card that was really quick and easy, looked absolutely stunning, but used all the different elements of these, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and use that Baroque frame. We shouldn't have favourites. This is the one that I'm loving, right? There we go. So I'm going to take this one here. I know I'm just going to tell you, they're desperate. So I'll move... Do you know what I did? What? I mean, Matt was here, right? Yeah. And, and, and I feel like I'm, I'm almost behind uh, the L. So I came and stood here, but then I'm, me Matt's the in the wrong place when I'm done with. So just before poor George, I was just stressing the gallery because I was doing the <laughs> own thing right then, right? So here we go. Uh, five by seven cards are your best friend with these guys. Yeah. Five by seven cards, they work seamlessly on a five by seven. Can I just say, Create the cards that are going to work on a five by seven card. There is no way you would have got six of these for a hundred quid. <laughs> That's your showstopper, folks. That's your showstopper is six of these for a hundred quid, along with your um, Gildan Flakes, yep. along with the pens, along with six of these. Is, it's, I think we made the showstopper a little bit too good today, which could be why we're in sticky, on a sticky wicket, Ben. Sticky the wicket. Best way that, so we're on a sticky wicket, right. Let me get some tape. Oh, no, where's my tape? I start this weekend. Um, Where's my tape? Where's my tape? No. Where's my tape? I can't, I can't, am I just looking straight at the tape? What are you looking for? Well, someone's been and tidied up and now oh. I can't see me sticky tape. Low tech tape? Yes. Here you go, I'll give you some of mine. Oh, oh, how, how come you've got some? I don't know, it's just randomly right. on the shelf over there. <laughs> Right, right. So I'm going to create a card, it, right? Yep. So I've got a five by seven card. I'm going to pop this in the centre and I'm just eyeballing it, guys, just for speed, right? I'm sure you'll do it a little bit better at home. I'm going to hold this in place with a little bit of tape, top and bottom, and then we'll send it through the machine, OK? Now, a bit of a tip. I'm popping it in my Gemini. So it's going to go, I've got the big Gemini, but the small plate, I'm going to ever so slightly tilt it. Oh, why? Right? So that what happens is in, when this comes on, instead mm. of coming, it just edges onto the end bit, then it's going to edge onto the rest of it. Ah. And then when it goes over the other end, it edges off just a little bit and then the rest of it. Okay? Just a nice little tip that I find always works and gives me an even better cut on my Gemini, right? Mm. So those of you who are watching in the US who've already got your Gemini 2s to oh, the yes. Bit, the brilliant thing with this is you're going to be able to pop it into your Gemini 2. I have slightly, oh, it's all right, I've just slightly caught it there. Um, and you can actually put your smaller plates through the other way. Right, look at how well that's cut. That's beautiful. I mean, you just need to take a moment to appreciate how fabulously well that is cut, yes. right? So what you're going to do is you're going to do that. You're going to take that off. I'm going to try and lift it out. Oh, look, I've nearly oh, got all the bits out. Yes. Go. Last couple of bits are going to come out absolutely perfectly, right? That's, that's the wonder of having a Gemini, guys, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, once I've got all the little bits pushed out, uh, haven't we got some ink pads on the show, Ben? We have got ink pads on the show. Yes, yeah, so pads. what I'm going to do, right, you could do these with any of your ink pads. You could do it with your pigments. I'm going to do it with the water reactive ones, right? 
I'm going to use a little bit of card here. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to mask off a little bit to give myself a little bit of an area. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take that there and I'm going to mask it off. And I'm going to take this one here just okay. to give me a little bit more. Maybe it's not quite that much. Uh, to give me a little bit of a frame around the outside. Okay. And I'm going to go to the edge of where I saw the die was just to give me something to work off, right? So edge of where the die was, edge of where the die is up here. I'm going to do the same down there. I'll just do a couple of... I'll not do all of it. I'll do a couple of sides to give you an idea, right? right? So I'm going to pick up a little bit of the uh, lemon tonic. Lemon tonic, yeah. And I'm just going to blend in the lemon, first of all. Lovely. Nice, really bright finish, this one, right? Then I'm going to go in from the lemon tonic into a little bit of fuchsia. So these colours are in the bundle that we've got on the show for you as well. So you using water reactives? I'm using the water reactives, right. but it would be exactly the same for if you pigments. wanted to do it with the um, the yeah. pigment. You'd get the the blend them. The water reactives are on the shop today, though. Uh, shop the day for, because they're on tonight, Sean. They, they are launch party. Couldn't yeah. Couldn't take all of her uh, all of her products off. I could I not? Right. So look at this here. I'm now deepening from the edge just to show you how you can do a blend all the way down, right? Yeah. So if I take this off now, can you see what I'm talking about? You're getting that lovely uh, shading yeah. from the dark through the mid and into the light, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you take your time, you do that all over the front of the card, that's what we're talking about. Oh, incredible. Yeah? So you can see that all I've done is I've added a little bit more. So there is my base card ready to go. So that is your lovely looking right through. I love it when you get a creative card and you look right through the middle, OK? Yeah. Uh, just realised I don't want to get. Uh, have I got a? Yeah. Just let me. Do you know I'm feel? I hate these shows, but I love them at the same time. Ben, I'm feeling the pressure to be really fast because I know everybody's going to be panic buying, and I'm like, don't panic, guys. I want the time to show you, but then I want to go fast, right? <laughs> Buy quickly, but slow down. 55% of the stock gone. Right, this is the update I don't need, Ben, when Sorry. I said about not <laughs> pe it. feeling panicked, right? <laughs> now, next next tip, right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these two frames together. So I'm going to use them on my Gemini mat like this. Yes. So can you see I'm using that like that so that I can position that absolutely perfectly okay. to get the cut, right? Yep. So now this will go on there. I'm going to put the top plate on. And we're going straight through with one. This is going to give me the frame ready to go. You can do one with the frame, and I've got another sheet, and I'm going to show you the other comparison so that we do one with the frame. All right, there is my frame. And I'm going to just take this and knock this out now, get all the little... Okay. Oh, they would be brilliant for shakers then, wouldn't they? Absolutely, right? yeah, keep those bits. And then the next one, Ben, I'm going to use this here, but I'm not going to put the inside piece. And I want to show you the two different pieces. This is where you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck with these uh, dies, right? So you're going to have the most designs, the most kind of flexibility, as it was, right? Let me just pop all these through. That's the way to do it. Huh? She says, I've missed one, right? So that is the frame. Good one punch. This here is giving you it without the inside bit in, right? Let me just... Oh, this is really satisfying, Ben, right? Yeah. Um, are you, do you have a punch and Judy gag there that I just You missed? just said that's the way to do it, so I said oh. good one punch. Oh, right. Sorry, I did miss it. Uh, Too right. busy. I've never seen you crack so fast. Oh, Sorry, man, you're so I'm excited. It's the, it's the stress. It's like the stress <laughs> of having to do. Right, look at this. Johnny, here's the thing. If you've got any stock updates, just tell me. Don't tell Sarah. Don't tell me. And I'll say, I'll say, oh, 10% of the stock's gone when it's like 70 or something. So then hopefully it'll and calm me down. And then Sarah will say, it's all right, guys, because I'm going to get all of my demos done. <laughs> I've got so much I want to do in this show. Yeah. I'm doing it anyway. It's right? going to happen, whatever. Yeah. I better get ready and do me one with the garden thing next so that if the big bundle does sell out then we can still do the individuals yes, right yes. so look at this oh. there is mm -hmm. the frame right around the outside just taking my time to get it perfect. there you see right so there is that lovely outline but then with this one on the inside watch this i'm going to do notice i'm using the dotty tape pen right around the outside ben yeah right so that goes with that but then i'm using the straight tape pen in the middle so that we can still get a really good stick look that's going to go on the inside like that and then Beautiful. that gives an extra bit of stuff. Just yeah. even if you just do that with all your cards, mm -hmm. you've got six different frames, guys. Look how much more professional it looks when you've got an inside. And then actually, you can use all your bits that are left over, right? So, so for example, from the cutting the inside of the die, there's one in the red that I had left. Yep. There's a one that I had left from another project in the white. You can use the white one, and just to do that matte layer on the inside, 
I personally think that is going to make your cards look so much more professional. It's incredible. Having that like that, mm -hmm. right? And then that was super simple and super easy to do. And all you want to do is kind of finish it off. So I've gone nice and simple with a little, um, let's have a little look. I've got a nice little ribbon that'll yeah. go on the front here, mm -hmm. right? And I'm actually going to take that ribbon right to the outside. So one, and then I'm doing the same down here. And do you know right? what? That would look equally as nice on the portrait that you've got it now, or landscape as well. That's do you know what? Should I do a landscape these. one for a bit of a change, right? That's, yeah. And then thank you, but I'm going to do this with a little bit of 3D glue gel in the bottom. Yeah. All right. Big blob, little blob on there. Pop that down here. And so now you can see, yes, it works lovely as a landscape. Yeah. That was a last minute addition. It was. The one I'd planned. Oh, there we go. Was a portrait. Perfect. But how it, to me, it's all about having that frame. And I wanted you to see the two, years, the two ways, either the frame on the inside yeah. or the frame with the centerpiece on the outside. Yes. You will use that. And forget about the fact that you've got six gorgeous creator cards, just having six lovely sets of frames, like that's brilliant. Absolutely right. And already you're seeing the craftability that you've got with these, how quickly, I mean, you might not be able to craft that quick uh, because Sarah is like super, super ball of energy, Speedy Gonzalez, quick today. But the point is you will be able to craft quickly with these. And again, for those of you who are watching, who are new, who are fairly new to crafting, new to watching us, these are the kind of kits that you want to pick up because they're super craftable, super versatile, and they're going to make you look like an absolute pro straight off the, uh, the the start. Sandra says, Sarah, that's how I feel over the night before uh, one of these launches. I can never sleep. I need to be there first uh, to get my order in. Um, oh, you see, all you, you organised guys who tuned in for Wake Up Call yeah. be paying off now, isn't it? That's it. And sit back and relax, you see now. Uh, Carol says, I bought only two of the new dies, but it hurt to be good. I did get a bunch of other things from my wish list, so I'm getting plenty anyway. Um, and just loads of you loving the cards that uh, Sarah's already shown you morning again from North Carolina I purchased the collection uh, before wake up call says Laurel uh, all ordered now says Stephen I can sit back and watch the inspiration from Sarah uh, and a lot of love for that K card concept don't worry yeah uh, a lot of love for the K card coming through a lot of love for the uh, the dome front and that um, card with the shaker elements in that you were showing us as well. Laurel says, love the versatility of using the frames and center dies. If you want some ink pads, by the way, if you want to maybe recreate the card, which uh, Sarah has just shown you there, these are in the um, pigment, okay? So uh, still gonna blend beautifully for you, but you do have the exact colors uh, that Sarah was using. Just trying to find them for you. Um, but yeah, all of those are included in here, but in the pigment. So you've got your lemon tonic and then the fuchsia. So those are the two that uh, Sarah was using just a few moments ago. And then all of these other beautiful colors are included so your honey pots in there your straw bale which will all obviously play very nicely with your lemon tonic you've then got your oasis in there uh, you've got I've lost the lid there. Uh, you've got your parakeet in there too, in the blues. <laughs> then you've got your plum jam in there. Uh, you've also got the grasshopper, plus your crushed velvet and your pink tulip. So it's 10 ink pads that you're getting, your pigment ink pads. Of course, you can do your heat embossing techniques with these too. And actually, we worked this out earlier on, didn't we? That you're basically paying for seven, getting three for free within that kit. So it's a really lovely bundle. Uh, if it's water reactors that you're after, launch party uh, this evening, where you'll be able to see those amongst a whole host of other great deals as well lots of our recent launches going to be coming up on that show uh, with debbie fisher later on now as we said um horses for courses whatever you fancy going for if you don't want to go for the showstopper uh, you've got the other option here to buy all of those brand new dies uh, as a whole uh, 64 pounds or 80 dollars if you're platinum as we said again it's like you're getting a 22 percent discount off the uh, launch which is incredible and you'll get all of the dies all of the designs uh, that sarah's gone through uh, with you that garden lattice again Again, interchangeable the frames brilliant this one as we said earlier on nice maybe to do a bit of your ribbon threading with you've got loads of detail here in that gorgeous baroque frame again to talk about paper piecing as debbie did earlier on think about you know doing a bit in the outside of the frames as well there's so much that you can do with these you've got your stylish swirls this is my fave as we were talking earlier on you know on the uh, portrait looks a bit spider webby maybe for halloween johnny liked it on the landscape we're going to do that one next uh, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, you've then got the beautiful florals here. This is called your Contemporary Blossom. And then lastly in the collection is the English Heritage. The blossoms proving very 
popular individually. Um, and as you, as you said, run it all the way through, create a beautiful uh, project with that deep border design. You've got a frame there if you just want it. You've got the ability to just cut the creator card element into your cardstock, cut out panels with these, just use the frame on its own if you want. As Sarah was showing you, uh, use the frame and the inner die to be able to create an exceptional uh, sort of insert piece for your cards. The versatility here is off the chart and that's why these are flying. The designs are amazing, but I think it's that whole thing. If you guys are like us, you want product, uh, products that are gonna allow you to do lots of different things, this launch ticks all of those boxes. Uh, Sherry Masters has grabbed the show stuff and says, what an amazing deal. Ben and Sarah says, um, Crafty Angie, I've got my order in. I plan to get up for wake up call. The 3 a.m. came and went. That can happen. Um, so happy that you had enough of the collection for us on the West Coast. Uh, it's 6.25 a.m. That's early enough. At least you've got it. Good stuff. Uh, and Beverly uh, Dials, Thomas at Fugate says, I've enjoyed the shows today. I ordered the showstopper. I've not been able to watch online until I got my new phone. I've missed seeing everyone. Well, we missed you too, Beverly. It's lovely to have you back. And well done on getting this uh, brand new launch. Details of the showstopper are up. Uh, let's go back to Speedy Gonzalez because we're about to see, I think, what's going to be my favorite card of the show. Uh, right. Deep breath, Sarah. I'm just going to take my time. I don't want to know any bad news. I don't want to how, know how much of the stock's gone. Nope. I don't want to know what's going on. We're just going to take a chill pill. Take a chill. And I'm going to do that card that I love that's got the shit. If you miss me showing you it, guys, yeah. Where I'll is put it? it here, right? We're going to do it. One of my favourite cards at the moment mm -hmm. is where you do the shaker, but the shaker is invisible. So you basically have you double acetated up. Okay. So you can see right through the middle. You need to do this with a creator card die. They only work with creator card dies, right? So, top tip, getting started. Five by seven cards. Remember what I said, they all work really, really well on a five by seven card, but I've done it a little bit differently. I've made a gusset on the top of the five. Can you okay. see that there? So instead of just folding it flat, I've folded it flat and I've given it a tiny little gusset on the edge, mm -hmm. okay? So just a five by seven card with a little gusset on the edge. Now, we're going to do exactly the same as what we did with the other one then, right? We're going to cut the creator card into the front of the card. So I'm just going to eyeball it and put it roughly in the middle there like this, right? Hold it in place with two bits of tape just so that I can get it nicely positioned. Mm -hmm. Open it up. Now, remember the tip that I gave you guys. We're going to go in with our piece of card, but just ever so slightly tilt it doesn't have to be much just so that you don't get the clunk as it comes off the end you want your clear plate your magnetic and then your top plate on there as well right so then this is all ready just make sure you've got all them little bits and pieces off and that's going to go straight through your gemini now yes if you're cutting with a gemini they'll cut no problem you don't need your metal plate they're not ridiculously intricate dies if it's not a gemini you probably want an extra shim but if you're using a gemini machine trust me they will cut absolutely fine yeah. right as i can prove now look how beautifully well that's cut oh, yes. now if you have your rubber embossing mat what you can do is you can take your rubber embossing mat and we can go next step and we can do a little bit of embossing with it as well. Okay. So all you do there is you have it as though you're cutting into the rubber embossing mat. So you're going upwards into the mat. You want your clear plate on. Do not put your magnetic in. You never, ever, ever have the rubber embossing mat and the magnetic in at the same time. You always just want one or the other, right? So now I'm going through, and now what this is going to do is it's going to give us that extra little embossed detail. It's not very often I emboss the dies, Ben, because I always feel like we're on such a rush on these shores. Yeah. But I'm determined to kind of share all these little hints and tips with you so you can all get some brilliant results with these, right? So if I lift this out now, just going to try not to tear my black card as it was. I'm just going to give it a bit of a pour because it's the quickest way to get them all out. Look at that. There's only two or three left in there now. Uh, that has given me that beautiful finish. Yes. That is the one that our Ben absolutely loves, right? Fantastic, isn't it? Now, ready? I said I was going to have lots of tips for you all the way through, yeah, right? Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to put acetate behind this now, okay. right? So get yourself some acetate. But what I want you to do is we're going to put sticky all over the back of here, right? So that we've got loads of, you're not at the end, oh, you are at the end, uh, there we go. Right, we're gonna put do, um, dotty tape yeah. all over the back of all of this because I want it perfectly stuck. Don't just think it's okay to stick around the edges because it's not enough. I want that tape all the way over, but then also I want that round the outside. Now, what I'm going to do is, George, is there any chance you can show them on the close-up? Because I think if I show them to the close-up, they might see 
Yes, oh, can yeah. you see, yes, you can see that tip. So you can see now I've got the tip all the way around the outside, but you can see I've got the dotty tip on every little bit of that inside. Yeah. That's what we want, guys, so that when you take this acetate now, stick that over there, you're going to get the, an absolutely brilliant stick all the way through. But no adhesive shown on this side, but a brilliant stick. And then, watch this, I'm going to be cheating, I'm going to move this. So you can see on the white, oh, right? Yeah, uh -huh. And I'm going to stamp. I'm going to use some of my tri blend pens. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to colour into. It's like it's like good fun colouring in, right? So because I've stuck it down really thoroughly, look how easy it is to colour right into all of the details like this. And because yeah. it's acetate, it's like a stained glass window effect. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to get that lovely result. So I'm colouring the pink. And then what I can do is colour in with, maybe it's called pink and purple. Uh -huh. So I can go purple into the other ones and you can get a lovely different shade. So I'm not going to spend all day doing it. I'll colour the middle one in here. Yeah. On my other one, I coloured a little bit more, but you don't need to Oh, you've done it. like the two shapes to the right and left, haven't I you? I have indeed. Yes. But you can always come and add a little bit more in later mm -hmm. once we've done it, right? Yeah. So there's my little bit of colouring on there, OK? Now, I'll bring my cutting mat back in here. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a foam on a roll all the way around the outside, Ben, right? right? And I'm going to be really careful to go right up to the very, very edge, but not over the edge, right? So when you're doing shaker cards, guys, the trick is you want all of the shakers mm. to gather right at the bottom where the tape is. Yes. So if you actually don't pay a lot of attention and say you just put your tape any old way, right? Yeah. So say, for example, this is what I used to do. I'd put my tape down here somewhere because uh, you right. think it doesn't matter. You've got all that space for your shakers to gather in, so you end up using a lot more shakers, right? Um, so now I can peel all this off round the background. Just here. on the note of shakers, Alicia is wanting to know what's the best bit to keep shakers from static. She says I get a bit frustrated with the static sometimes, oh. with the um, shaker bit, she says. Uh, just get yourself an anti-static yeah. bag. little hamster pillow. Little, little hamster pillow. Do you know what an anti-static bag is as well? It's the same as like a bit of muslin with some talcum powder in. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. if you wanted to do, if you wanted to make your own at home, you absolutely can. A little bit of muslin, a little bit of talcum powder. Do we say as well if you have those tumble dry sheets, they work as well, don't they? Uh, so I've heard. Yeah. I haven't actually done that. Okay. Uh, but I have heard people say that before. Yeah. Look at this. I've got one of my sequins in there. To be honest, there we've still got those anti-static bags on the web. You can pick them up for a couple of. Yeah, for, for the sake of, I always thought this, I thought, oh, I'll make my own, but then actually, they're so inexpensive, yes. it's probably worth having the right stuff. Grab one of those, Alicia, that should help you. There, look at that, look at how many sequins I've got in there now. Oh. They are literally, and when they collect all at the bottom, they collect where you want them, yeah. right? So, there is the background to my card, we just need it to stand out now, because it's not standing out there, is it not? This is where the other dies in the set really come into their own, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So, pop the card to one side now, I'm going to use these couple of bits here. So, first thing I'm going to do is I just want a little bit, this is going to go on the inside here, and I'll put that silver there just to show that up, right? Then what I've got is I've got some, I'm sure I've got another sheet of matte silver card, here it is. Right, so here we go. So the matte silver, Ben, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my base piece. We're going to do that trick I showed you with the magnetic, where we're going to use the two of them together, all right? So you've got the outer and then the inner one in there so that it's going to cut me it as a frame, all right? So if I cut that as a frame, put the silver facing down because we're cutting through the die. Uh, you want your plate on the top. I've realised I've missed this one in, so I'm just going to add this. Don't put this to cut into it. You should never cut into the frosted frame. Right. You always want to cut into the top frame, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I can go into there. And that will give me the nice frame for the outside. Now I've got the frame for the outside, and then I've got a lovely piece Ooh. of uh, just printed paper. Yeah. So let's have a little look. That will come board, out. That, now this is. Do you know this is this will be this is coming useful on something else. There's that lovely frame. Beautiful. Right, with just a couple of little bits, and all of these diamonds. Keep them, guys, because they will make brilliant shakers. Absolutely. For yeah. another one, and they're all designed like that. So you've got that nice frame. If you use this one here. But just use that interior die, that will cut out exactly the right size panel, mm -hmm. right? So there's mine that I've cut out, and I've used that die to cut the interior bit. So now, to just put the whole thing together, I'm just going to, in fact, you can talk, I'll stick. Okay. 
Um, th there is just lots of love coming in generally for these brand new dyes and also for the enthusiasm that you are exuding, Sarah, on this show. <laughs> Even more so than normal. You're the most enthusiastic ball of energy. I, I just love these dyes. I, I, mean, I honestly just absolutely love these dyes. You've got, you've got to have so much fun yeah. with them when you get them home. And that's the great thing, again, you know, if you've been crafting for years, obviously you'll love these. But if, you, if you're a newbie, you can create all of these makes that Sarah's making, all of the cards that Debbie did earlier on, step by step. Um, the dyes are an absolute winner here. Um, Paul Prince is saying this die reminds me of a kaleidoscope in addition uh, to the spider's web, which yes. we've already chatted about. Nice. Um, and Cheryl says, it's such fun watching Sarah, I love her wonderful enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> well, she's definitely not shy on the wonderful enthusiasm today. No. She, you, you can tell I've had a couple of weeks on holiday and I'm raring to get back and get going. I feel like your battery's been charged up a little bit, hasn't it? And your... The battery is well charged, guys. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Well still, charged. Still got the lovely tan over there. I've been jealous uh, on both shows today because you've got the tan having just been on holiday and all Debbie Fish has been talking about is the holiday she's going on uh, in just a week or so's time. So, uh, yeah. Off to Singapore, Bangkok. Where else is she going, Johnny? Bali. All right for some, eh? Oh, that would be fabulous. Mm. I'm so pleased, bless her. She works so hard, does our Debbie. It's lovely to see her having a nice, um, it, nice it bit is. of a break on a holiday. Is. So, right. There is my background piece, and I'm going to go. I've got a nice little. Um, I've just tried. To be honest, the cards are so like showy on their own, Ben. Yeah. Because of it. so I'm really trying to just not do too much to them. Mm. Uh, here's my little sentiment. Birthday wishes. Look, it can go. It's another one of them ones, and they're all like this. They'll work really well portrait or landscape yeah absolutely so let's have a little look i'm going to put that on there and you've been really good you did exactly what i said didn't interrupt me didn't nope. give any rude stock updates nope. didn't panic me no nope. and look i've had now plenty of time exactly. to show everyone how to do a lovely see-through shaker card see-through shaker card there you go. that is my favorite card I think, uh, I, I think I'm going to sit and colour some blue bits in while you're, um, all right. while you're doing whatever, Can you, whatever just, you have to do. Johnny, just, uh, just maybe you want to just, like, just, I'll tell you what, come to me, guys, come to me. All right, I'm going to give you a stock update. Yeah. Nothing, I'm just, uh, I, just, uh, I was just, uh, just, just talking there. I'm in my own little world. Don't need to worry about me. So that's the update for you there, guys. Just see where, you know, not, I don't want to panic you or anything. Don't want to make you too sort of worried. Uh, but that's, that's where we are with the showstopper right now. So you've got obviously plenty of, you've got plenty, you've got plenty of time to do your shopping. You just take no, your time. If you want the showstopper you haven't. Oh, no, they've got plenty of time, sorry. You just relax. There's loads and loads of stock available for you. So you just need to just, Take your time. We'll give you opportunity to uh, go to the checkout now. Just stroll to the checkout. Uh, and we'll come back in just a few minutes' time, relaxing into the, the demos, because you've got plenty of time. Go, 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 go. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV.
Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers, but really, they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. Another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family I'm so glad that you checked out nice and calmly at the uh, the checkout there Benita says gotcha loud and clear Ben nice one uh, BJ Clark says I love watching Ben and Sarah they're so funny uh, <laughs> I don't think we were going for the funny today. I was trying to go for that and being really serious and doing a load of pretty cards today. Don't panic me type vibe. Yeah, I was, yeah, we, yeah. I mean, I was going for the, obviously the very serious vibe as well, so I don't know what you're laughing at. Uh, and so it says, just watching Sarah Craft, her energy is amazing. It gets me so excited about the collections, hence why my house is full of Crafters Companion goodies. Can I just say, we are so busy right now, and it's that lattice die uh, which is uh, going. Lots of you getting that individually. We've got less than 200 of those now remaining, so you are going to have to get a little bit of a, um, a sort of a, a wiggle on to, to, to grab uh, this, get a move on, whether you go for the showstopper, that main collection. And what I would say, Sarah, is, I know a lot of people um, were commenting earlier on about the demo that you had with that, with the dome front, and I'm kind of going to have to put in a request for you now to get that done next, if we can. So the garden like this is the one that's going to yes. sell. Uh, that's the one that's going to go for. Less than 200 of those. We'll do now. that one next then. Good. Thank you. Look at these taking requests. And all uh, I'm such a good girl. <laughs> Such a good girl. Uh, the garden lattice is this one here. Uh, so that's the one uh, which is putting everything at risk. You can understand why. Beautiful, beautiful dye. Um, and again, I like that. If you've been doing a lot of ribbon threading recently, you could certainly use that for um, that also. And um, if you do love ribbon threading, by the way, do make sure you're joining us for the launch party later on. If you missed the launch of those brand new dyes, they're coming up again later. Uh, there's your Baroque frame. That's also proving really popular, as is this one. So much detail here in the style stylish swirls. Um, again, I just love the fact that you've got the ease of use with these. Um, very, very quickly, you're going to be making cards, which look the absolute bomb. I mean, come on, how brilliant is that one? Um, I know there's still more to come, but that has got to be an absolute contender for the demo of the show in about uh, an hour's time or so. Then you've got the two beautiful kind of um, florally ones to finish off with that contemporary blossom and then the beautiful English heritage as well. Uh, loads of, uh, of course, inspiration here with Sarah, loads of inspiration early with Debbie. Uh, do check out Craig's socials as well. He did a fantastic demo with that English heritage uh, die, which is up on his social pages too. Oh, 
it's fabulous incredible celebrating the coronation of the king um the showstopper of course just to remind you you are going to get within the showstopper a set of your aqua markers so the essentials are coming to you um, in that bundle we're also going to give you i mean how great are some of those frames going to look with your gorgeous gilding flakes the cosmic gilding flake set uh, with the outer space the blue moon and the starlight that's coming to you in this bundle as well alongside your gorgeous luxury cardstock um there you're getting oh you have to come over here george i can't flick it back to front <laughs> uh, you're also going to get all of these beautiful colors in that uh, pearlescent finish and linen finish um, and that is included too as i said the deal is incredible here because if you paid for those three separately you'd be looking at 54 pounds or 69 dollars when you buy them within the showstopper it's only an extra 20 so it's huge value for money that's why everyone's going for the showstopper that's why you need to be getting your skates on and that's why we are now going to have a look at that demo uh, with the garden lattice let's get it in before this goes well what i'm going to do before i start the garden lattice i just yep. want to explain again for anyone who wasn't here at the top of the show these are a new concept yeah it, that's not true they're not a new concept they are two existing concepts which we brought together for the first time so creator cards we are really really well known for creator cards so creator cards is where we like from this one here cut into the front of the card so you can either cut into the front of the card or as we've done here you can cut into the front of a panel on your card but basically so that you see right through the middle of it they're brilliant wait till i get to do in the box later oh, right yeah. so they are brilliant if you want to do boxes and actually see into the inside of the box okay so that is your creator card style but then also what i love about a lot of these is we've then also got this gorgeous frame around the outside or i think the insides of the cards look brilliant with these frames on yeah and that's because each of these die sets comes with three different dies in right so the garden lattice which is your most popular one i love that you guys love just the simple effect ones that's going to cut your lattice you've then got the optional i can either cut it out or i can cut it in so this is create a card on its own add this one onto it and it's going to cut the detail out this is then giving you the frame that goes around the outside and again you can just do the background border or you can cut it with the middle piece in and it'll do a frame so using them two together well if you use just that one it gives you this yeah you can use the just the creator card frame or you can use the creator card frame with the cutting on the outside yeah loads loads mm. of different things that you can do with them okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how to do that dome fronted card that everybody's loving the look of right so this is your base card let me just show you it started off life as a piece of um eight by 11 so basically it's just slightly smaller than your a4 yeah right so it's your a4 width and it's, it's cut to eight inches and i've cut i've scored this and it doesn't really matter how you do it but if you want exactly the score lines six and three quarter inches right so six and three quarter inches along so what we've got with is we've got a shorter panel on the front and a larger panel on the back because i'm going to take i've got this lovely piece of daisy it's from the daisy collection oh right? yeah uh -huh. so i've got this lovely daisy background piece mm -hmm. and i'm just using a little bit of uh, all purpose so that i can maneuver this into place in the back corner so you don't need to do the whole of the background of the card it's perfectly adequate if you want to just do just part of this so can you see that comes in over the front right now for my dome on the front right what you're going to do and i've already cut mine ready is this can you see is half an inch wider yeah so if you look at the width of this so this panel here was exactly um five inches right so this part here is five and a half inches plus i've allowed an inch on either side so that that there if i just show you it's going to be wider than the front panel on here right so that when we stick it like this oh, it forms a bit of a dome so if you have a little look at that from the front so if you were to put it flat it'll be flat when we line up the two edges that's how you get the dome on yeah. there right mm -hmm. now if we're doing a dome front what you want to do is you want to pop yourself some acetate on the inside right so what i'm going to do is going to go all around the outside of here don't leave any bits out and please use either a red liner tape or our tape pens because I want a really, really thorough stick. Now, I'm never sure whether these have got a little bit of um, oh, the film on the outside or not. On. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think we have. We've got it. Yes, there it is. There ah. we go. There's my little bit of film. So much clearer now, right? Yeah. So there is my acetate backing there. That is stuck down beautifully. So now, when I do the dome, you've got the dome front 
with the acetate on the inside, right? So that is going to go into the front panel. The easiest way to do it is that we're going to stick uh, this to the front of a panel that's the same size, uh -huh. right? And then I'm going to wrap these bits around the edge. Okay. So I think that's the, e the easiest way is if you construct it as a yeah. separate dome panel. Mm -hmm. So can you see I'm going to wrap these around the edge of here and then stick that whole panel on the front of the card. Perfect. Right? Now, my biggest tip I always give people is to go tape to tape. Yes. Right? And I talk about this an awful lot. So what I mean when I say we go tape to tape is I'm going to put double-sided tape all the way down here and also all the way down there so that when I stick this over here, I've done a tape to a tape stick, which is a really good stick, right? I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to go down this edge with plenty of double-sided tape. Notice I'm not being sparing at all. So now, when I pop these together, uh, and I always like to kind of do it, I'm trying to do it for the camera for you, but I really want a lovely straight stick. There we go. Nice. So now that's got a lovely straight stick, and I've got that perfect dome. Yeah, you can see that beautifully that. from the front there. Mm -hmm. Look at that, right? So that's stuck really, really well. She says I was going to stick my bits on the inside first. Oh, oh yeah. Ben, oh, do you know sorry. why I get so wrapped up? But I've stuck it so well. Look at this. Oh, I was so fixated on my door. This is how good our tape pen is, Ben. Oh, my life, oh, right? Oh, rip it. Yeah, I'm going to have to. <laughs> But I'm gonna. I was so caught up in teaching you all how to do the dome really, really well that oh right. You got away with it, I think. Just about. Just about because it's a good job. It's warm in here, isn't it? It is. is that it glue is still a little bit wet because it's quite warm, right? Oh, there we go. Right. No one so, will notice. No one's ever gonna know by the time I finish. Yeah. Just a bit of time to do a bit of die cutting. Do we think? Right. Yes. Okay. So let's have a little look. First thing I want to do is I'm gonna cut that outside die mm -hmm. with this one here. Right. So if I use these two here. In fact, let's just go for it. I'm going to cut all three at once. Uh, where's me? Where's me plates gone, Ben? Uh, oh, Ben, man, what have I done? What are the plates? Uh, I am going to find my plates. Yes. Here they are. Yep. Right, I'm here. Right. I'm going to use all three cuts, Ben. Just so I'm going to do them all on this watch. Okay. I'm going to go outer. Then I'm going to go inner. Mhm. Mm then I'm going to go base cut. Okay. Right. So I'm going to cut all three at once. I think Debbie was tidying up for you. That's probably why you found it hard to find a few things over there. <laughs> um, Thank you for having me back, covering me back for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what? A few people, I, I'm, I'm really interested in just uh, reading the comments coming through of what you guys are seeing within the frames as well. Crafty Angie, that Baroque frame, me and Johnny said it earlier on, both being uh, musicians, the Baroque frame reminds me of a treble clef, you say. There's definitely, you can see that oh. in there. Um, and Michelle Parsons says, does anyone else see the Star of David in the trellis die? Uh, it'd make a great background for our Hanukkah card. Absolutely. Whatever you can see in these cards, use them for whatever the event might be. Uh, and that's why, again, they're so versatile. You will see different things, I'm sure, to what other people will see, but use them to your advantage. Um, just a quick question, and we're always happy to answer. Lisa wants to know whether these dies would cut fabric, Sarah. Uh, yes, they would. Yep. So what I would recommend is, though, stiffening the fabric. Right? We what, sorry? Stiffening the fabric. Ah, yes. So use a fabric stiffener, right? Yep. Because the fabric stiffener will make it easier to cut the detail out of them. Right. right. Does that make sense to everybody? Absolutely, so we yeah. Ha we have on there um, just our spray. It's just called... Fa fabric. What, what is, is it called? called? It's called... It's, it's, a co it's not called fabric stiffener. Fabric, fabric stabiliser. Fabric stabiliser. We should know, Ben. We used a lot of it last year. Oh, oh yes. We did. Right, let's have a little look. So, did you notice there what I did, by the way, guys? I took out some of the... I'll, I'll, I'll put the... Whatchamacallit in. Mm -hmm. what, did I call, what did I put in? Rubber embossing mat. Yeah. So, but while I, I took the rubber... While I used the rubber embossing mat, I then took out the other rubber, the uh, magnetic. Because okay. you should never have both of them No. In, right? So, look at this. It's just giving me that lovely detail cut. But also, it means I've had the, um, the benefit of being able to do the embossing. Do you know, it wasn't until I started doing the demonstrations with the Gemini 2 over on HSN that I did a lot of embossing with the dies. Oh, yeah. A lot of people just didn't realise... No. Just 
yeah, the, 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 the so many dyes are built to emboss. Because we're always rushing when we're on air, we don't get much chance to do the embossing. It's generally a step that I miss out because it does make a little bit of a difference on the cards. Um, but it's not, it's not something you can always kind of tell looking through the, um, yeah. the TV screen. So it quite often gets missed out with these. And I'm just thinking I'm going to make more of an effort to show people just to remind them. Because a lot of you won't realise that that's what you can do. You can die cut with your dice. Yeah. Um, emboss with your emboss dice. Them. Yeah, very true. Very true. Right, look, yeah, I've got such a mess. Is Debbie tidying up after this show as well? Uh, I don't think she tidied <laughs> up for you. I don't think she's oh, going to tidy right, up again right. for you. But, you know, it's mm. fine. I know you're busy. I'll sweep up for you, Sarah. Wow. What's up with you? What's all that about? Well, because you're getting me a good birthday present, aren't you? Remember? Uh, yes, I am getting you a birthday <laughs> present. Yes. Uh, right, here we go. So... I'm going right round the outside with the straight stick. I've got yeah. the dotty tape pen in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to go there like that, okay. right? So there's my background. Now, what I think, I was trying to work out what people were liking about the lattice one, the lattice background. I think it's because it's a lovely background for some of your florals. Absolutely so right, So this yeah. one, all I've done is a couple of nice little daisies, but I am going to use the... Um, Oh, what you call it? 3D glue gel, just yep. to position everything down in place, Ben. It's perfect, isn't it? Just like your garden trellis in the in, in the back garden there, with the flowers all growing up. It um, paper's gorgeous, says Kelly. Yeah, from that um, Daisy collection, of course. Uh, sadly gone, though, isn't it? Um, and Lisa says thank you so much for asking, Ben, and thank you for answering, Sarah. That was the question about the fabric. Um, and Denise says, I'm glad to see that Sarah too can screw up occasionally. She does. Only occasionally, though. Uh, more often than you'd think, guys. No. So. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do you know what? This is testament to how great this collection is too. I'm seeing comments, not the first one, but I'll read this one which has just come through from Laurel. He says, I can't stand it. I think these are the best dyes that I have seen in the last two years. Wow. That's from Laurel. Laurel. Hey, I tell you what, do you know, I know there'd been a lot of love for these dyes, but yes. I, honestly, guys, I got such a panic when I found out how the show had done this morning. No, so because no. it's only when we get the really, really, really big launches yeah. that we've had issues and we've sold out on the day. The way this is heading, this is honestly going to be one of those dye launches that yeah. we are likely to sell out of on the day that it launches. So it's not every design, but some of the six. Yeah. yeah. 65. Right. Now I'm going to try and re-stick this. It'll never quite be as good as if I stuck it the first time, but you know what? Have, ah, I, done, have I got away with this? Perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody's ever going to know. Are they Don't not? tell anyone. Right, OK. Yeah, I've kind of got away with that. All right, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, right, so that is now going to go on the front of the dome front of card. Perfect. Yeah. Um, is that three you'll have done by now? Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely flying, Ben. You are. I'm not going to lie. Have right? you got, how many have you got left to do? Another three? Another thing, do you know, I think I'm going to tacky glue this up because I want it to stick really, really well. Um, and I'm worried about me sticking now. So timing this to perfection. Another hour to come. Three more demos to come your way as well. Um, let ah, us know. we've got the care card in the next hour as well. Oh, yes, the care card. And there's a box coming up as well for yep. you, isn't there? And what's the other one? Is it that flor the floral? Uh, got a bit of paper piecing I'd planned to do as well. Do. Just yeah. shows you the versatility, doesn't it? K card, box, oh, paper piecing, colouring on with acetate. These. Dome fronted, and again, all yes, all of the demos you've seen, very different to what Debbie was doing a little bit earlier on. So by the end of the day today, six demos here with Sarah, you've had three earlier on, so you've got nine projects to be working on um, as soon as you get these home. And, and if we've got any left later on, if there's any um, of the stock left, you, we might even do some demos for you later on in launch party too. So you'll be going away with lots of uh, inspiration. Loving that. Going to need to leave that to set, right? So, and can you see, I've used the tacky glue just so that I do get that lovely stick. Yeah. All I want to do to add on to this one is literally, I've just got a nice little simple bow to go in the corner. Just to, I think, just to emphasise it. And then I did find, look, this tiny little hello, which I just thought, that will sit really cute. Oh, cute. On the bottom of there like that. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. It is a nice one, that one, isn't it? Beautiful. And I just think it's a nice background. Do you know what I've realised? Mm. Stuck you down there. I missed the frame I was going to put on. I got the frame that I cut out, didn't I? Oh, oh yeah, that okay. adds a little bit, didn't yep. it? Yep. So now, all I, remember, always you want the uh, dotty tape pen around this. I thought, do you know what, what a difference this is going to make, right? Before I stick this on, let me just show you. There's the one without. Yeah. There's the one with. Yeah, it makes a heck of Doesn't a difference. Doesn't it make such a professional difference? It brings out the the back the trellis in the background even more, bizarrely. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, it definitely makes a difference. And to me, these are the bonus bits of the die because I just cut this at exactly the same time. Mm. So essentially, you could say it kind of had been done. It's like using leftovers, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, now you're talking, you see. That's really made such a difference on there. And then that goes back on. Now we're looking lovely. Yes. Finishing touches, see? Nice. Right. Perfect. Uh, these have been amazing demos so far, haven't they? Three fantastic cards. 65% now of the showstopper has gone. Um, and I tell you what, now you've seen that demo, I can guarantee that even more of these will be disappearing as well. So, and, and the thing is too, what I love about this is that we do have people, you know, I don't always assume that because there's a new launch, everyone's gonna jump in and go, oh yeah, I've gotta have it, I've gotta have it. We do have people who um, sit on the fence, like uh, Denise, who says, I usually don't buy creator cards, but I couldn't resist these. So again, you're getting people who are on the fence are being turned around. And also like Sandra, who says, when these were described as deep borders, I thought, nah, not for me. But when I saw them, I had to have them. So it's great. Oh, all the shows. Exactly Why are you got to right. watch them? Because uh, you know what? You know, if you walk into a store and maybe just see these sort of, you know, on a shelf, you might go, oh, I don't know if those are for me. But then when you see them on these shows, that's why you come back day in, day out to us to here at Crafters TV. You watch the shows, you see the inspiration, then you go, ma, got to have these, got to grab them. £80, uh, pounds, don't forget, platinum for the show shop and $96. It is free shipping for our US uh, viewers as well if you go for the show shopper. Uh, an incredible value for money deal. Uh, and Susie says, I know I'm saying it again, but I'm so in love with these deep border credit card dies. I think the stylish swaddles are my favourite. So glad I got up early to order. Sarah, your makes have been gorgeous. Oh, I'll take that. It's going to be exciting today as well, isn't it? Later on, launch party, Debbie versus Sarah versus Debbie. Oof, clash of the titans tonight. How are you doing with your stars now? Two. Two. I'm nowhere near you, Debbie. Oh, Debbie's only got one. Uh oh. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, just whilst we get uh, Sarah ready for another demo, we do have some deals coming up for you. Uh, the Zip and Stores are here. These have been very busy um, since we uh, launched these. I think it was last week, wasn't it? And you can still get your bonus points on these as well. Uh, it's 50, isn't it, Johnny? Uh, um, 25 on the individuals. Um, so just to quickly show you these, the large square. Now, um, there are other deals where you can buy the Zip and Store with um, product you don't get the product within these this is just for sort of demonstration purposes but if you go to the uh, the shop the day page you'll see uh, these with product as well but they are they are fantastic um different of course to your totally chiffney buddy bags in the fact that these are all uh, zip around so if you like that you've got that double zip detailing here but similar in the fact that they are um, large they're spacious they're see-through so you know what's in these they're white clean and um, you've got handles um, all over the place with these too so when you're storing these they're nice and easy to take off the shelf very very easy to transport and i just like this big one you know for the fact that if you have just got bits and pieces in your craft room if you're traveling you know with a few bits and pieces you can just pop whatever you want in there i mean for goodness sake we've got jesso in there we've got some sponges we've got pens and misters and glues and all sorts uh, you can pack so much into these um, 9.59 for the large one 11.96 platinum as i said to you um, last time we had these on i was watching um tiffany uh, talk around these a while back and again you know what she was talking about these of course as far as um craft is concerned but she uses these when she goes traveling as well she puts them in a suitcase uh packs in you know things like her underwear socks go in there too so they're very very handy for that uh, what do you want to look at next the, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll go with the small square then. So we've done both of the squares. This again, super handy, uh, just for popping in a few bits and pieces. Really, really low price on this, just seven pounds 19 or 9.56. I mean, once again, I mean, we've, you could pop some of your ink pads in there. We've got some of our smaller um, glitters in there too. It's a perfect size. And I know we've got, I think on the shop the day, you'll find some of our um, foam pad deals, but a perfect size uh, for getting your foam pads in there as well. You can layer those up and just almost have that as like a little dispenser uh, to keep all all of your foam pads in once again see-through white clean easy to use and a great little thing to pop in uh, your larger totes and um, some of your larger um, Tiffany's as well you could pop these in and again if you're storing that on the shelf little handle on the back to uh, make that nice and easy to take off and then we've got the rectangles now the smaller rectangle I mean you've seen the idea here absolutely perfect again for storage for your ink pads now I know that we have the trays but it might well be that you decide that you want to take some ink pads with you uh, when you're going away and these stack absolutely brilliantly we calculated didn't we that you can pretty much get uh, if you stack these well a full range of either your water reactives your uh, quick dries or your opaques within these uh, because you can get um, 
six or eight is it? Oh, now I've lost count. One, two, three. It's yes, it was eight, wasn't it? Eight within each of the rows there. So those stack beautifully in there. But again, you know, think about these as like handy storage for all sorts of bits and pieces, you know, for camping, you know, for first aid kits, these are perfect. Once again, two handles, so whether you're stacking it this way, that way, nice and easy for you to be able to transport. And then you've got the big one, the, uh, the large rectangle, again, handles on either side. These have got like solid bottoms as well, which is a, a, another great thing to have. I saw this straight away and I know they laughed at me last time, but you know like all the bits and pieces that you've got in the back of your car, you've got all like, the, you know if you have like an emergency, I know I said traffic cone, but what I meant was the, like your warning triangle. You have your triangle, then you have like your high vis, don't you? And you have your other bits and pieces. Perfect size for putting all of those bits and pieces in. Yes, Johnny, like your torch as well. Your pint in there, DJ. Are you black kids? <laughs> they say put your pint in there. You keep, you, <laughs> Pint. Johnny keeps his emergency pint in the boot of his car. Uh, but no, the point is you can get all of your, you can put all of your uh, bits and pieces in here. I mean, we've got uh, fabric in here. We've got sprays in there too. Great if you, um, if you do maybe things like your, your knitting and your sewing as well, popping in some of your bigger items. They will go in there nice and easily. Uh, store beautifully. And again, you've got your carry handles uh, either side with those. Uh, £9.59 or $11. <laughs> so that's really typical. $11.96 if you're a Platinum member. Uh, you'll find those on the Shop the Day page. Right, Showstopper, 70% of the stock has gone. We are really looking at this potentially selling out during this hour. Um, if it doesn't, it's going to go in between shows, isn't it? I think I'm calling this. We'll be lucky if we have any of these left for you to be able to see more demos of on launch party tonight. <laughs> Bundle. Pop the details up on the screen for the oh, main yeah. bundle as a bit of an option. I'm going to come over and I'm going to say, see, it's not the end of the world. It's you're not the end of the world. You're going to right? come and do what? I'm coming over. Yeah. So don't panic because you can always just get this. Okay. Right? Not, yeah. So, but but look at the like, right, look. So look at the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's eighty pounds or hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So you save what twenty one pounds ninety four or nineteen seventy. Yeah. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Swap it back for the other one. Oh. Would you rather save £21, $19, or £56, or $70? £56, or $70? Do you know why I'm so excited about it? Why? Who do you think put the showstopper together? Um, was it Leanne? S uh, Craig? My show, my showstopper. Oh. That's how it works. My show. I called dibs on this. Oh, I was dibs. like, I'm, yeah. <laughs> because this, I knew how big the launch was going to be. And it's a different concept like that. Mm. And I knew what cards I wanted to do. Do you know where I get the ideas from for the cards? I go on, um, I go onto Facebook and mm. I go and look at what our designers have done. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll show them that one. Mm. I'll show them that one. I'll show them that one. I'll show. So I just get all, same place you can go get all mm. your ideas for the cards. Call dibs on doing the show. And then, and then I was talking to Emma, who puts the shows together. And mm. I was like, right, for me showstopper, I'd like this, I'd like that, I'd like the other. And then I just told her she had to sharpen a pencil. Just do hey, this come here, come here, come here. Aren't you brown as well still, by the way? Yeah, I, I was, I was going to wear a white top, you know, just to really show it off. And then I thought maybe... <laughs> I thought I'd go nice and bright because, you know, I like a nice bright top. Yeah, well, you're looking very bright, very tanned and healthy. Everyone's gone on holiday or been on holiday, apart from me. Oh, get and the violins out. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready for my next card? Come on, let's go. Right, I'm doing the K card. I'm just going to tell you now, get ready, because Teacher Sarah's coming out. If I had a pe if I had Leanne Specs on right now, I'd put them down on your side, right? Teacher Sarah's coming out. Right. I love when I get to teach you a bit of construction, right? So I've got my ultimate, got the ultimate out. I've got to... Oh, Johnny's saying, get a break ready for after she finishes. I'm going to need one. Because I'll be ready for, you'll all be ready for a lie down after this. Uh, K cards, I think. Now, I, there's two types. So uh, there's pop-out cards, which is where you get in the middle, the bit in the middle. Yeah. I do them a lot, right? K cards don't do very often at all. People think they're really complicated, but what I thought I'd do is just take my time, show you right from the beginning exactly how to do a K card, because these designs lend themselves so well to K cards, right? Yeah. These are trays who come with a cup of tea for us. I'll swap, yeah? Beautiful. Ooh. There's the last cup. Look at that. She brings the new one in. Do you know we so well looked after you? It's unreal. Love you, Trace. Thanks, Tracy. You're the best. Ah, she is mine. Yeah. And then tomorrow when it's Jake, we'll be telling Jake we love him because he, <laughs> he makes more cups of teas than Tracy. He doesn't, make, he doesn't really bring coffees in, Jake. Tracy. Tracy's the best when it comes to a good cup of tea. Yeah. 
Yeah. Tell so, right. Cake. So, we're doing a cake card, right? So, you can do your cake card using either your US... So, if you've got a, an Ultimate with UK sizes on, you're going to use A4 card. If you've got an Ultimate with US letter sizes on, you're going to use your US letter size card, right? Really important, that bit, the distinction. And if you've wondered, oh, well, I've got an Ultimate, but I don't know which one it is, right? Does your Ultimate look like this on the top, right? <coughs> so can you see on this one, it tells me we've got gatefold A5, trifold A4, half fold A5, half fold. So when it's all these sizes that say A4 on it, that's your UK sizes. Yeah. If it's got scrapbook sizes on for 12 by 12 and 8 and a half by 11, then that is your um, US yeah. letter size, uh -huh. right? How this works is you take, so I've got A4 card because I'm working with the um, A4. A4 size ultimate essentially. I'm going to put the half fold in, which means I get a card where you take your A4 and it folds perfectly in half, right? So it meets perfectly in the middle. If you were doing this with eight and a half by 11, that last, I think it's the second to bottom, but the one that says half fold eight and a half by 11 would give you that half fold, right? Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the half fold in this one, right? Uh -huh. But you're also going to put the gate fold A4 in, right? Now, ordinarily, I'd turn around and I'd do the gatefold A4 all the way along as well, but I'm not. I'm just going to do it at the top and the bottom, right? right? So that's my A4 one. So what you've got is here, by the way, I'm going to bring that back in. I always use the edges to push those edges together just to get a nice crease like that, right? And then I'm going to do this here, fold this one in, but we're not going to fold the other one in because I've only put my crease lines at the top and the bottom, right? This is when we're going to get ready to protrude whatever wants to protrude from the front, right? So I'm going to pop that on there. That is going to be my cutting, right? And yeah. I'm just going to get a little bit of tape and hold it in place, right? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on there, right? And I'm going to use where I've got a nice little pencil or something. Uh, have I got a nice little pencil? I don't think I have a nice little pencil. Mm. Uh, not a problem. I'll draw it on with a fine liner pen, right? Okay. And then you say, oh, I've got a brush fine liner pen. Of course I have, Ben, right? There is my halfway mark, guys. By the way, I'll just draw it on so that you can see. In fact, if I'm drawing it on, I might as well just use a thicker pen, might I, just to do show you, know, you? I've got a biro over here. Oh, come on, I'll show you. Right, what, so what you're going to do is we're going to go around the outside here, yep. right? And I'm also going to draw around the inside bit like this, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that we've got a nice cut. So we can see exactly where that's going, OK? Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to use now your ruler and cutting knife and we're just going to cut all of those lines and cut them out. Now, I've actually got one here where I've done that cutting out. Nice. Can you see? So I've just cut all the way around, around the front and the inside of the die. Can you see that there? Yeah. So it's exactly the size of the die. We'll cut around the front and the inside, OK? So that is going to go... That is going to be the panel that goes on the inside of our care card, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the detailed cutting die... Yeah. And I'm going to cut this into the front panel like this. Can I ask now. a question whilst you're Go putting on. this together? And this okay. is from Terry. Mm -hmm. She says, it's a good question, this. So she's talking about putting the K card together. Mm -hmm. She says, could you ask her, would it be possible to incorporate a shaker within that panel? Or would, yeah. it, or would it interfere with the function of the K card? No, you can put anything you want. Brilliant question. Nah, I totally get that. That would look fine. Turn this into a shaker. Yeah, so you could yeah. do it there. Of course you could. Do it, Terry, then. Have that a little bit amazing. of a play, Terry, and then show us how you get on so that we can send us your pictures. So It'd be a shake cake, wouldn't it? A shake cake card, I like that. Smash up. Smash up, yeah. Smash up, shake cake card. Yes. Shake her card, yes. Shake cake, cake, shake cake, shake cake, shake it. It's okay, guys. It's a shake cake card. <laughs> yes, right. Smash up. So <laughs> Answer smash. There's that lovely detail, right? I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go with my rubber embossing mat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my clear and then top plate on. We're going to emboss it as well because we can, because embossed cards look so much more professional than regular cards, don't they? Yes. Absolutely, yes. They do indeed. So there's my detail on the K card. Okay, card. I hope you're all following this because it'd be a lovely card to do this one, mm. guys. So what I love, I love to teach these sort of ones. You can always watch this show Absolutely back as well. Absolutely right. Right. So I just lift that off. Done a little bit of a. Rub. You're going to just sit, and you're going to pop all of those pieces out. Mm. Right. Yep. I'll put mine to one side. I can do that in a minute because I can show you the next piece as we're going on along. Right. So that's that. With your original outer piece of your card, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to matten layer a little bit 
and die cut you must get it right in the exact center right so can you see what I've done with mine I've taken this part here I've matted and laid and I've die cut that through multiple pieces into the exact center of the card yes right so you've got an aperture on the front mm -hmm. and you shake a card right <laughs> I'm going to take these, the one that I've popped all the bits out, yeah. right? So then, now let me show you how it all goes together, all right? Because essentially you take the outer one, right. you take the inner one, mm -hmm. and you just stick them together, ah. and that pops through the front. Uh, Isn't that really clever? How simple is that? Yeah, and you thought it was going to be dead complicated, didn't I you? I must... I know, yeah. I know I forget things, and I'm a bear of very little brain sometimes, but I want to say... This is the first time I've seen you construct one of these because if it wasn't, I would have remembered that, I'm sure, that how, yeah. how simple that is, but how complicated it looks. Well, that's the thing. They're the impressive cards where yeah. they look really, really complicated. Now, watch this. This is another great tip I always do, right? To get these to line up perfectly, use that edge of your ultimate and then lay these down in that. Oh, I've been full of the tips today, haven't I? You have. Full of the tips today, right? Now, while this is open, I've got a little bit, uh, a couple more pieces of that red, that beautiful paper, all right? And then I'm gonna go on the back of here and just position this one in here like this, because we're gonna be able to see these through our bit inside the shaker card, mm -hmm. right? But these are where you can use all your offcuts. Yeah, That's what nice. I love about these, use all your offcut pieces for these, um, just to give it a nice bit of design on the inside. And I haven't even, you can if you want, you could like deepen around the outside, I haven't. I've just literally used them exactly as they came. Yeah. I haven't even done that right. So that goes around the outside, and then I'm going to do exactly the same here. Just remember, we only want the tape on the outside, yep. and then all the way down here. Kirst, uh, Christy's bought the dies, the standard bundle, if you'd like. She says, I've got the showstopper extras already. What I would say to you, I mean, I know you've already bought them, but of course, you know, you'll eventually run out of gilding flakes. The pens will run out eventually. You'll run out of the card stock. So if you're thinking, I've got those already, but if budget stretches, I would still tell you to go for the showstopper. It's because 20 you'll quid. you'll still be using those. And for extra 20 quid, yeah, absolutely. And it's 20 quid, but you get the shipping for free. And yeah. you would have paid, uh, what, it's, it's ten, uh, ten, $10 on the shipping, isn't yes. it? And if you'd have bought those, if you needed to, well, when you do need to come back and get more of the aqua pens or more of the gilding flakes or more of the car stock, you obviously pay full price. You won't pay the 20 or 54 or 69 is what you would pay. So over to you, up to you. You, you tell them, Ben, you yeah. tell them. Thanks. Right. I will. Look at this one here. This is the frame from this set. Isn't this lovely? It's like a little ditzy floral. Yeah. So if you use that with the interior die, use these two together and it'll cut you just the frame. And again, I just think these look really nice, but they look outstanding when you add the frame round the outside. That's the difference. You just want that lovely frame adding round the outside. And I'm always using the dotty tape pen, then the straight one in the middle, so that you can get a really, really good stick. Watch the difference this will make now around the outside of there. Doesn't it just, it just makes it stand out. And I've done all of that, guys, yeah. with just white card. You imagine, you start and use some of your inks on here to colour a little yeah. bit and everything like that. Mm. Even with just the white card, looks really, it just makes it really, really stand out there, right? So there's my K card. And then actually, just keeping this one simple, I haven't done an awful lot. I've just used one of our um, uh, stamp and die sets where you oh, get yes. the best and the wishes. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm gonna go right on here with this, watch this, I'm gonna stick this along the bottom here. Do you know people are right. twigging to how easy it is to put a K card together. Mm -hmm. Laurie just says, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's so easy. Yeah, you just assume it's difficult, don't yeah, you, yeah, until you, you do. see just how easy it is. Mm. So I've got the best wishes on there. Wishes is gonna come down the bottom like that. And then that whole card, there you go. Oh, come on. And These you watch me do that better. right from scratch, guys, just to show you how easy it was. And it'll go flat in an envelope. And bear in mind, I've done that with A4 cardstock, so I used two pieces of A4 and I used the half fold A4. If you're doing it with your US letter size, you just need it. It would work exactly the same, and these dies are designed to work on both. And I want you to be able to do that on your US letter card in just the same way. Amazing stuff. Just before we move on, a few uh, comments and the, um, a question as well. Uh, the collection is so versatile. Perfect for your scrapbooking, says Mary Pat 1000. Yeah, think about using some of these frames within your scrapbooking. Uh, lots of chat about the bags that I showed you in the last little break. A lot of you telling me that you're picking those up. Uh, Vera says, thank you. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's, it's coming. I was just I was, yeah. I was letting that tacky glue dry. Ah, thank you. Doing all right today, haven't we? Doing all right. I love the way Sarah always lines them. I do. That you can really appreciate and make your mind up ready for that vote in just a bit. 
Um, four done, two to go. Just a quick question. I know we hope that you can answer this fairly quickly. New viewers watching all the time. Uh, Sarah, can you just quickly explain? I need to want to know the um, difference between tacky glue and your um, and your Kalal glue. So when you might use what? Oh, I can. Right. So, t right. I, where I can, I try and use the all-purpose. Yes. Because what I love about the all-purpose glue is, it's brilliant for your matting and layering, you've got manoeuvrability time, but it won't ever warp your card, right? The way it's kind of based, and I'm, Leanne will tell you more of the technicalities, but it means that you can manoeuvre that into place and you're never going to get the kind of bubbling as it was, right? With your tacky glue, tacky glue's just like a, a PVA, but it's a little bit stronger and it tacks quickly. Yeah. Now, the, the downside with using PVA is that you sometimes do get that bubbling. You know, where, where your cardstock goes a little bit like this, it's because that you use too much of it. If you use a tiny amount of it, it's perfect. If you use too much of it, you can sometimes bubble. But the tacky glue is super strong, right? Yeah. So where I wanted that to stick really thoroughly, I put the tacky glue on, and I, if you notice, I haven't took it straight over to Ben. I left yeah. it on the side to dry for about 20 minutes. Now it's right, and now it's going to be stuck, and I don't ever need to worry, because with the dome card, the, it's going it's going like against gravity, the card wants yeah. to pull away. So by using the tacky glue and putting it flat and putting a bit of weight on it, means it's going to set permanently. So tacky glue is brilliant for anything when you want, you know, you, you want a really, really good stick and you've got the time to kind of let it to dry. This is brilliant for all your matting and layering. Marvellous, great question as always. I'm loving all of the questions that we're getting at the minute. Nice and interactive. You guys are, are not scared to ask those questions. If you ever need to ask, please do. Uh, but listen, right now you need to be shopping. 75% of the showstopper gone. We are biz, biz, busy. This is where everyone's shopping, uh, getting all of those extras added in uh, for just an extra 20 pounds or $20 instead of paying 54 pounds or $69. Lots of unchecked baskets as well. So I know that 75% is gonna go 80. Uh, we could be looking at limited stock uh, you've got to be quick let's give you opportunity to get checked out and then we'll come back try and squeeze in a couple more demos potentially I can do it. don't you worry i can do it. i can do it don't you worry and we'll get the vote as well for the demo of the show but you need to get to the checkouts uh, we'll come right back after we've had a look backstage I have to tell you every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes and I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. Going to give a shout out to our backstage hero and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having drink water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> oh Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Oh, we'll do it. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day.
makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Uh, just seen a few comments coming through as well about me uh, moaning about holidays. Uh, ben, you have a horse to support. Yes, I, he's right. Yep. Not. That, no, that's not my. That's not my thing. That's their, their thing. And I'm not buying a horse. Don't, don't keep going on about that. And Lillian says, Ben, but you went on your bowls holiday. Yes. Do you know what? They're absolutely right. But um, hang on a minute though. There's Spain, Bali, Colchester. <laughs> Johnny, oh, he's got a good zoo. Uh, anyway, I'm not moaning. We're not here to talk about holidays. We're here to talk about this. Loads of lovely comments about the cards. Uh, so easy, that K card. Loads of you saying that now. Like, the, I think the light bulb uh, moment You see, there. everyone just needs to see it. That's it. Uh, Coletta says, good morning from Kansas. I'm, I'm going to try this K card. Do it. Go for it. Go back, re-watch the show. It's there for whenever you want to watch it. Uh, and Carol Guy says, what a beautiful card, Sarah. We've got four amazing projects already done. We did say, didn't we, earlier on, that Sarah would be in. She would be a full of energy should be banging out the demos we've got what 35 minutes left two more do you reckon absolutely i'm gonna go Come for the box them. now though i'm gonna go for the box and i want to show you we're gonna do a bit of coloring over these designs they look fabulous right so boxes right i'm gonna start off i'm working with a4 again and i'm gonna take my a4 card this is if you want to do exactly this size box and i'm gonna cut it to 10 and a quarter inches okay. right so it's a4 but i've trimmed it down to 10 and a quarter inches right then what we're gonna do is you're gonna use your um oh inside your ultimate or on your scoring board or whatever it is we're gonna do box lid and box base so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an inch and a half yep. so line number three so inch and a half all the way around so that is in line number three there and then once you've done all of the scoring you're just going to fold this and put your crease lines in yeah now i'm doing the lid in plain white cardstock and i'm going to do the base in a nice lovely blue cardstock right uh, just in the corners what you're mm -hmm. going to do is you're going to go in and trim out from the edge oh it's here just since i've made a box live on air uh, in and trim out from the edge same on all four corners now the trick when you're doing a box is you're going to get it to this stage and then we're going to do the decoration right? right so don't pop it together so there's my box and you need to do exactly the same with the base but you're going to use this time the box base set of lines so exactly the same size of card but use the box base lines. So you've got a lid and you've got a base right i'm going to decorate the lid so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go create a card style i'm going to use these are the contemporary blossom ones which i think is this the second most popular one after the uh, uh contemporary blossom, blossom. I think it yes is. i'm right yeah. this is the second most popular one right so i'm popping that right in the middle ben uh-huh 
and I'm just going to pop this down here and we're going to send this through. Now, the only thing is I'm going to have to use my large Gemini plates. Yeah, okay. there we go. So I'm going to go into the base plate, right? I'm going to go magnetic, top plate, total top one on here, straight through my Gemini. That'll do me all of the cutting. And then what I've got is I've got some of my tri-blends ready. And you can watch, uh, if you've got any comments, it would be a good time. Because uh -huh. I'm going to do a whole, let's get a little bit out of the bin here. Uh, I'm going to do a whole Sarah special colouring uh, onto the background piece here. And I'm going to get totally lost in my own little world. You know what I'm like All right. when we'll we start your, with the colouring. Get your right? comments in. Tell us what you're loving the most. Which is your favourite of the um, of the dyes so far? Um, and any questions you want to fire in, let us know if you've come for the showstopper. Uh, let us know if you've just gone for the standard bundle. Give me some chat, peeps. That's what we want. Give him some chat. Right, look at this. I'm going to blend. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the red. So if I'm going around the outside here, right? Watch this. I'm starting with the dark red one, right? And I'm going to blend the dark red round into a lighter one, into an orange, into a yellow. Okay. She says optimistically. Um, whilst we're watching you, Tess says, <laughs> Tess, I'm not going to, by the way. You said, Ben, if you buy the horse, I'm not buying a horse. But if you do, she says, there will be no more holidays. Believe me, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm quite happy with the current arrangement. And when Daisy does grow out of the pony, we'll just find another one up the, the yard. Get what does he say? A little caravan to put the what? What and the horse can take us on holiday, Johnny. Oh, great idea! I love that. Thanks, Johnny. You've solved all my problems there. Have a horse and go on holiday. Brilliant stuff. I could, I could, I could just ride the horse to work. Yeah, I could just imagine that. Can you imagine me like, holding up all the traffic, <laughs> driving? The, no, drive a horse, do you? Riding the horse. You don't drive a horse. No, no that's absolutely right, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Laura gets embarrassed whenever I go and watch Daisy at shows, and I go and come on, drive it faster, drive it faster, <laughs> ride it, ride it faster. Um, Linda Armstead just says, I've made a Paw, oh, Paw Patrol card yesterday uh, using the Rocker card template from the template library. Um, I'll look to see if the K card is in there later. I don't know if the K card is, is it, in the template uh, library? I don't know if there was a K card sure. in the template library or not. It's, honestly, it's easy to make You've with got the, it on the show. Now you can watch this, um, you can watch back how to do it. Mm. Uh, oh, there you go. Our uh, Rachel apparently says, she says, I could drive a horse-drawn cart, or used to be able to. So if I get the horse and the caravan, Rachel, I can give you a call and then you can take us on our next holiday. Absolutely marvellous. Um, <laughs> uh, Crafty Andy says, Ben, earlier when Sarah coloured the acetate, uh, she coloured on the outside. Uh, I thought you were supposed to colour on the inside. Does it not matter? Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Doesn't matter when we're colouring acetate. No. Yep. It's dry either way. And you've got the... Yeah, I suppose if you colour on the other side, you'd have the actual physical lines, wouldn't you? But as long as you can see the lines to colour through, I, I guess that is a uh, the thing to say. The other question as well, can you use... Can you use these dyes within the midi as well, then? Or they yes. You can? Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um... <laughs> uh, Rachel is saying that she's happy to come and drive the horse-drawn carriage. That is marvellous stuff. Uh, just by the way, just whilst we're watching Sarah Colour as well, I know it just flashed up on the screen. Um, whilst we're watching and looking at the uh, the tri blends individual items uh, available within our Colour Me Happy Anniversary sale, uh, the official anniversary. Thank you, Patricia, who told us yesterday was the tenth uh, of April, but we are celebrating into our second. We're basically taking the whole month to celebrate it, aren't we? You know, we like to do things big here. If we're going to celebrate. We'll We'll celebrate big, uh, but we're celebrating third anniversary of Colour Me Happy. Uh, we also, just to, to manage expectations, hmm. um, we have to ma work around mine and Leanne's diaries. Absolutely so Le right. Leanne called dibs on that show, and Leanne decided she was doing the show, uh, and I was away the, over the first two weeks in Easter. So we've basically had to work. Ba the, the holidays happen when we when we can make them happen as well. The, yeah. the, not the holidays, the um, big event days. Big events, yeah. So it might be April, but you know, it might not be the exact yeah. day. Cause I mean, we try our very best to do sort of, you know, exact dates, but it doesn't always happen. Uh, but anyway, that's a bother. Oh, it's gone now. I was just about to talk about it, George. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't said it yet. Uh, so I, I'm taking ages to say something which should take about two seconds. Uh, so you can get 10% off individual Spectrum Noir items with the code CMH10. All right. Uh, you'll see the little uh, page on the website. Click on that and all the deals are listed. Lillian says, ha ha, I made my first box on the bo boxer board recently. Um, yes. It was so much easier than I'd anticipated until I put the top on the bottom, which was one centimetre bigger all the way round. 
You put the top on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Um, all been there, done that. I mean, it's easily done, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's easily done. Uh, um, yes. Right, can I just say, I've cut to the one I've already cut. Oh, okay. I, I, that I've already coloured. Just You've just done that? look lovely. No, I'd, I'd only done this bit. Oh, I was going to say, I've been so checking for a long time. I've just cut to the one. I mean, I know you talked a while, but you know, you no. didn't talk for that long. Good. Right? So, I've got the base done. And then, actually, before I stick these on, look, I've got some, I've done the sides. So, I'm going to stick the side panels on, Ben. Um, this is when, guys, you know how we were talking about when would you use the different glues? This is the best time for you to use the, um, what do you call it? What do you call this? All purpose. The all purpose. Yes, this is the best time to use the all purpose because look, it's it's there. I'm able to get that perfectly stuck, and then I'm able to get this also perfectly stuck. And I've just got that manoeuvrability time, yeah. and everything's going to look perfect. Do all of this before you start doing all of the decoration. Okay. Um, beautiful papers as well, by the way. Is that colour me? Happy, colour, yeah, the, colour, colour my, my world. world. Yeah. Thought it might. You be. loved that one, didn't you? I love the colour. Do you know what? I, we obviously, I saw it with you on the 80 cent preview show that we did, but then by the time I got round to actually seeing it on um, Crafters TV, all the consumables had disappeared. Sadly. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was a popular one, that one. Mm. Well, you know, there's a lesson to be learned there. There is a lesson to be learned. Snooze, you lose. You do snooze, you lose. Yeah. Um, just while you're sticking as well, are we allowed to talk about yesterday or not really? Did it go okay? Or? Go on, yes, you can talk about it. So yesterday, yeah. um, people in the UK will understand this. People in the US probably won't, right? So we have a game show in the UK called Richard Osman's House of Games. It's on BBC Two. And it's on BBC Two and it's every weeknight. Is it Great. 6 o'clock or 6.30? Uh, 6. 6 o'clock. O'clock. Yes. And uh, every week they have a new set of celebrities come on and play against each other yeah. on different types of game shows. Yes. So uh, yesterday I went and did a whole you know, a whole week's worth of recording. Yeah. And I don't know when I'm going to be on, but we Could recorded all five shows. And I'm not allowed to tell you how I did. No, no. But any of you who know me well will be able to take a very well-educated guess yes. as to how well I did with the game showing. Okay. Let's just say I was doing some practice rounds with, because I love the show, so I know the kind of things that come up. There's different rounds every day, and then they always finish off, the every day finishes with the answer smash round, where you have to get, take two answers and smash the answer together to get the overall answer. So I was trying to help Sarah uh, after our show on Sunday, um, and let's just say, I mean, it didn't go brilliantly. But that's not to say Sarah didn't smash it on the show when she recorded <laughs> yesterday. We will have to, we'll have to find you'll out. You'll have when to it wait and watch. You'll have to wait and watch to find out. Did you enjoy it though? I thoroughly enjoyed it. What's Richard Osman like? He's absolutely lovely. Oh, that's good to know. Really lovely. Yeah, seems like a nice bloke. Right, if you cut them two together, Ben. Yep. When it comes out, it's going to look like that. All right. So okay. To save me cutting them because I'm conscious that I do want to get all these done. I want to show you. I want to get this round. This is the difference it makes having these dies now. Mm. I think. Oh, let's just get this on. Oh, do you know I'm right to the end of this one as well? They, if they ever get. Oh, I'm right. At the, oh, I've got no duct, no more duct tape pen. If you want to get right. your tape pen, I'm going to get you one. Yes, please, if you don't mind. Just right. a normal one. Uh, just uh, yes, a, no, a normal one, because I'll use it for the. Uh, sorry, not normal, dotty one. Dotty one. Hopefully, you heard that. Um, and I'm going to go this. I will just get this one round here, though. Look at that. Do you know? And I can just about see where the line me. was. Oh, look, he's straight in there. Straight he's in there. so helpful. Thank Hello. you. So fast as well. Glamorous assistant. Oh, I mean, super right glamorous. Look, my box is ready to come together now. Uh, by the way, when you're doing boxes, guys, don't use the dotty tape pen for sticking the box together. Thank you. The box dotty coming. tape pen is just for where we do an intricate dies and sticking our intricate dies down. Yep. When you're sticking the boxes down like this, you're going to stick it down with plenty of this. Your dotty tape pen, now I've got it, is for all over the back of here, right? Plenty of it on. Straight tape pen comes right around the outside. And that is where we're going to put our acetate on now. So you're going to just get your little bit of acetate. The acetate is going to go over the background there. Because if you are doing a box and you want people to be able to see into the box, but you want some treats or something in, yeah. you want that acetate in there. And then these are perfect for sticking those corners down. Lovely. Oh, it has been lovely to get to do a box as well. So there's the lid. I did all the work on the lid. But what you'll find is, because the base, I used exactly the same size cardstock. Yeah. Um, but I did it, uh, used the box base set of score lines instead of the box lid set of score lines on the Ultimate. That will make it exactly the right size. Now, this is the um, blue cardstock. You can use the showstopper deal that I put together for you has all of the linen effect and the pearl cardstock. It does, in. yes. So it's going to work beautifully well with both of them. Look at this. That 
I love how you demonstrate it live on air and have the confidence to know it's going to be exactly the right size, the lid and the base together. Stunning. That lovely. And I just think it's a lovely design to do the colouring on the front as well. These just keep getting better and better and better. <laughs> Is it they? And I'm going to get time for six, so that was number five. five. I'll bring it over. Yeah. And I'm going to get time for a sixth one, so I better get ready for number six as well. All right. Well, I should get. Whoa. Well, I should get ready for number six. Um, just a few more comments. Oh, and before the comments, eighty percent of the show stop has gone. Get your skates on, people. We've got 21 minutes left on show, uh, and then we've got a two-hour break before launch party. Don't expect this to be here. Uh, well, you will still be able to get the smaller um, bundle, but the showstopper will be gone. I'm almost guaranteeing that. Remember, with the showstopper, you get all of those amazing dies, those six brand new uh, dies. Well, it's more than six, isn't it? It's 18 dies in total, but the six set. And then we give you, on top of that, uh, your gilding flakes. You're going to get your aqua pens, and you're also going to get that beautiful card set that Sarah was talking about. That would normally set you back £54, $69. Uh, you are only paying an extra 20 within the bundle. So it's worth going for. And I can understand, you know, uh, budgets and people going for individuals and people telling me that they're buying the standard collections. But if you're looking at those and thinking, well, I've already got them, you'll need more aqu aqua pens in the future. You'll need more uh, gilding flakes. You'll need more of that cardstock. So it's worth absolutely going for that showstopper. Um, if budget allows, go for that. Uh, Colette says, after I picked up my two phase, I decided that I really need to get more to mix and match. Then I was... I might as well get the whole collection, but for free shipping on the Showstopper, it just made sense. The Showstopper just makes so much sense, um, so please do jump in um, and grab it as quick as you can. Apologies for those of you saying that you want to see all of the cards. There's so many of them. Um, I need to show you some ink pads, but we'll show you at the end of the show uh, so you can get voting. Um, these ink pads, again, are going to work absolutely beautifully, aren't they, to help you colour your frames, um, colour your gorgeous um, creator card elements. Sarah was using, and I think Debbie used as well earlier on, the water reactives. However, we've got the pigment ink pads on this show. Lots of the colours that you've seen used today, we've got within this bundle, but just in your uh, pigments, of course, still blendable. You can do your um, heat embossing techniques with these. There is a bundle of water reactive ink pads coming up on launch party later. If you want to jump in for those, you can see them before I get to them by hitting the shop the day button. But the colours you're going to get here, so parakeet and oasis, you're going to get the crushed velvet. Then you've got all of your uh, yellows in here so your straw bale you've got honey pot you've got lemon tonic which was the first one in that first card uh, alongside that you've got pink tulip you've got the grasshopper you've got your plum jam and then the fuchsia so that the, the first card it was the lemon tonic and then back to the fuchsia for that one <laughs> You did it as well. Um, Andrew the Brady says, I love House of Games, Sarah. I so hope that Sarah won on luggage day. Oh, uh, we didn't have... Oh, Sarah, I thought that was one of the games. Ah. Um, Angela, the luggage was really, really good. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> uh, a crafty friend asked me why my cards weren't flimsy like hers. I told her, it's the glue. I love the all-purpose yes. glue. Um, and Brenda says she loves that box. She says, I love the icy blue, very pretty box. We have uh, 18 minutes left on show, and we have got one more demo, then we'll do a recap, then we'll get the vote going, and then we'll be done. So this is uh, last call to get the showstopper in this show. Over 80% of the stock has gone. What are you waiting for, folks? What is Sarah going to do to trump the previous five projects? Because they have been all amazing. So I'm kind of thinking this sixth, you've got to smash it out of the park, Sarah. Yeah, well, I've decided to go wild cards. This isn't even the one that I've shown yet, and I'm not even going to show you what we make, and you're going to have to stay with me. Oh, OK. Now, this is one of the ones. It's a regular size card, but you need to make it all, it's the best to construct it all in one from A3, okay? So what we're going to do is, if I just show you to the front, we're going to make it as like a tent fold like this, all right? So I'm going to have it with the see-through bit. So what you need to do is you need to have your card. I want my base card is just slightly bigger. Well, it's like the five by seven, but I've actually gone five and a half by eight, right? So you want, if you start off with a sheet of A3, right? Yeah. I want you to use your A3, and I want you to score it at five and a half, and then 11 inches, and then I want you to cut off the little tiny little sliver at the end so that it basically comes to 16, you can't quite see it there, but it comes to 16 and a half inches, right? So five and a half, 
11, 16 and a half, cut the little sliver off the end, right? And then I've cut it to eight inches wide. So you end up with a card that is in three, it's like a trifold card made from a sheet of A3, okay? Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do with that one is we're gonna make that into like a tenfold like this. So I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get the stylish swirls. Now I thought the stylish swirls is what would be the one that was in the lead. Oh, okay. So I was really, if I was only going for one set today, I would have swirls. to, and I mean have to have the stylish swirls. Mm. Because any you can do any occasion with swirls. You can do wedding cards, you can do thank you, celebration, birthday with True. love. You can Christmas it up and do Christmas cards. Yeah. You can literally do any occasion with swirls, right? So put that into the front. I'm going to pop this in here. Actually, just look at and use my big Gemini plates. It might be a little bit easier, right? So onto my big Gemini plates, I'm going to go like this. Then I'm going to go clear, magnetic. I'm going to go with the top plate on there as well. Yep. And then we're going right through, straight through your Gemini, right? Okay. So we're cutting this into the front panel, right? Johnny's telling me it's still Ooh. the garden uh, trellis. Lattice. Is it lattice? Garden lattice. It's like a trellis design in the background. But now there's another one in second place, the baroque frame. Mm. You just never know what it's going to be like. It was the blossom before. That's now in third place. And then the swirls is actually in fourth. So oh. it just shows what I know, seeing as I thought the swirls were going to be the most popular. Uh, but you haven't seen a demo with the swirls yet. Well, that's it. It always does work, guys, based on what demos you see, I have to say. Right? So I'm going to lift that off ever so gently. And then you do just need to poke all these little bits out. I can't Please believe the Moroccan be tile's not up there either. That was one of my faves. I think it's since, every, since you told everybody it was your favourite. What did you it say? was doing all right before then, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh, damn look, at, you. look how beautifully well that's cut. I mean, that is just absolutely yeah. delightful, right? So, that is going to be my front panel. Now, take the die, I'm going to give it a bit of a tap out, right? And what we're going to do is, we're going to use our magnetic position in this time, right? Done that quite a bit today, actually. So, we're going to go with the base. i um, got to pop this in here. So what I want is, I'm going to go with the stylish swirls, uh -huh. right? But I want the swirls and I want these two dies with it, right? So we get all three. So we're going to go uh, one, two, and then the third one right around the outside, yeah. right? So I think I'll do that in the, oh, let's do it in the lilac. This is using that lovely, um, you can, you know, we have the linen effect cardstock. Yes. So this, I just wanted to show you. It's not the exact same colours, but, but you can use yeah. either the linen effect or you can use the pearl. Both of them look really, really effective with this, mm -hmm. right? So here we go. If you use all three dies together, right? All three dies together is going to give you. Oh, bugger it. <laughs> I meant to take the middle one out. <laughs> you mean darn it. Darn it, right. Yeah. So if I took that one out, right, and if I used both of those, you know, if I didn't use the cut in, yeah. I'd get that. Ah, and you see. see the difference, yeah, right? Yeah. So I've got, you can either have two separate ones or you can leave, if you leave this one out, Oh, but this is what happens when I don't pay attention, right? And then... It's the excitement. It is the excitement. So if you take that one out and use just that one with this one in this time, yes. right? And do that with pink, when that comes out, you'll get just the frame, right? Yeah. So I want one with just the frame. These I'll keep for another project, actually, because they look quite nice, but not what I needed. One with just the frame, one with the frame with the swirls, right? Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them, stick them on the front of here, and do the shadowing technique, right? Yep. But when you're doing shadowing, guys, you must, must use your dotty tape pen. Because the dotty tape pen gives you that tape all over the background like this, right? And then also you want that tape around the outside. And I'm going to just take my time, position it in place, and I want the slight offset of the white so that we get... Uh, am I upside down there? There we go. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to... Can you see? There we go. Slightly shadow it so that you get that little bit of effect coming yeah. down. Yes. Just to say, Tess is saying, uh, Ben, Craig said yesterday we could use these in the foil press. How would this work? Go back, Tess, watch Monday Makers yesterday, and then if you go over to the US page, um, on that hour-long uh, US show that we did yesterday straight after Monday Makers, he did a demo in both of those shows showing you how you could use these um, in the foil press. So go back and watch those shows and uh, you'll find out exactly how to do it. Welcome. Right, this is going to come over here like this one and now I'm going to do the same again 
I love this uh, frame die for this one. Yeah. I'm just going to slightly shadow it. Oh, mm -hmm. slightly shadow it to the right and get that frame. And it just shows it off beauty. Yeah, look at that, you see. Doesn't it just look really effective when you yeah, shadow it? it? Does. So you can see all Beautiful. the way through. Yeah. And then and then that is the kind of that's the clever bit of the card done. So if I show you the to the front, yeah. there's the clever bit of the card. All I'm gonna do is a little bit of matting and layering so you uh -huh. can see how the rest of the card comes together. Um, loads more people telling me that they've purchased uh, during that time. Uh, Linda also saying, yes, I'm saving this show for the pay card instructions. Thank you, Ben. Welcome. Like I said, the best thing to do is you know you've seen a, a full demo here with Sarah, so go back, save the show. Uh, if you're new to us, of course, best thing to do is go to YouTube, subscribe to Crafters TV, uh, and then you can watch all of the shows back. You can get notifications when we're going live. You can create your own uh, playlist. I know a lot of you do, so that is the place to do it. Uh, Michelle Vale says, I watched Debbie's beautiful demonstration on Wake Up Call, but Sarah's demos have pushed me over the edge, and I've just oh. purchased the showstopper. Don't tell Debbie. No. Don't tell Debbie it was Sarah that pushed you over the edge. Quite um, proud of that guy, he's not going to lie. <laughs> Not that we're competitive at all. Uh, and Karen Fisher says, I haven't been this excited about a collection of dies like this in a long time. Oh, wow. Can't wait to get these and start playing. I will definitely be saving the show. This is the thing. Uh, please, as well, if you miss Wake Up Call earlier, do save that show too, because Demi did three demos there. Sarah will have done six. So you're walking away with nine, the, cards, nine cards straight yeah. away. I mean, how great is that? Do you know, and this is, I, I think sometimes we take ourselves for granted, guys. We, mm. we kind of forget that most companies, you would buy a die, you'd never see them do nine demonstrations, no. would you not? It's and not. we do literally every single launch that we do, we're doing this every single time because we want you, you're going to love the products even more when you know what to do with them, aren't you? Yeah, like I said, you know, if you were to go into a shop and see these hanging up, A, you might look at them and think, well, I'm not quite sure I know what to do with those, I'm not going to buy them. But B, even if you did buy them, then you think, well, where am I going to get all the inspiration from? We give you all of that. Um, and of course, don't forget, three demos from earlier, six from now, potentially some more later. You know that this will, this is, this will feature again down the line in a masterclass. You know this will feature down the line again in a craft along. So you know you've got even more um, inspiration coming your way once you've made all the projects you've already seen from Debbie and Sarah so boom shake the room is all I have boom, to say about shake that. the room is that right yes Let's have a little look I've got a couple of nice little bits and pieces to go on you know we've always got a couple of nice um, little bits and where's pieces. the paper from is it say it with this paper here yeah oh uh, I think say it with flowers oh uh, yeah I was gonna say yeah it's crafty Angie was just well, yeah, asking you were gonna say you you knew that did you Huh? Did you know that? No, I was just going to guess because oh. I... All yeah, oh, right, I, I, I was thought... thinking, wow, he's good. I didn't know he was that good. Oh, no, I, I, so I was reading comments. If you flip it over, I'll probably be able to just have it. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. See the that one there? Oh, no, I don't think it is, is it? Yeah, uh, is yeah it? it is. It is? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. I was right. Yeah. More so conviction, Ben. Come on. So, right, there's some bits there. Yeah. Just going to put... This is just a, just a basically a die-cut flower. Let's have a little... This is why you want the 3D glue gel, because then mm. if they're not where you want them... We've got that manoeuvrability time to get all of them out. So that's going to go into the corner there. Nice. And then, look, thank you for being a true friend. You are welcome. So, hey, we can make this your birthday card if you want. Oh, can I have number... I would like, I'd like number two, because that's got birthday wishes on it. The one that oh. you made for me with birthday wishes. Oh. Yeah. There. There. Beautiful. Look at that. Six Scuff. cards in the day. Ning. Like that. Uh, my goodness me, I tell you what, let's get the vote going now, then we'll do a few more of your comments, we'll show you the deal, and then uh, we'll, I would not like to pick this, I tell you what. You've outdone yourself today, Well, thank you. you very much. And can I say, I've just really enjoyed it. Well, I feel like it's... I, I was a little bit panicked at the start of the show mm. with you and your stock updates. Then I, I just decided to ignore you. Mm. And I just calmed myself right down. That's what most people well, do, just ignore me. And... Be benefit is, though, I've got six cards out. Mm. Have I, had I not started off out the gate that fast, I might not have only got five done. That is you a good point. That. We would have missed that. We would have missed, so, yeah. Yeah. Boom. Right. Oh, George, you're going along, are you? So, here we go. So, one... Two. Two is pretty special. Three is the one that you were all chatting about. The dome front. Four is the K card, of course. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> George going, yeah, three, but uh, yeah, four or five. Uh, five. It'll be, it'll be one, two, three, four, five or six. <laughs> Because I always try and build up my demos. I start with the simpler one and I build up as the show goes on. Does everybody else do that? Uh, not, like you, not like you do, Sarah. 
Not like you do. <laughs> yours, yours is always a journey of creativity, and I feel like we have like, a, like you say, wow. we have like a crafty crescendo. We we start off sort of quite quiet and quite nice, and it builds to the big crescendo at the end of the show. You now, where like the the conductor is conducting the orchestra for the big finish. So yeah, the blokes on the kettle drums, boom, 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 boom. So I don't know. It's over to you. I mean, it could be any of those, couldn't it? Could be any of them. Good luck counting those up, Rachel. Um, <laughs> Rachel says it's one of those days. I don't want to count the votes. Well, you're going to have to. Uh, you've got about three minutes. Um, we are now limited stock on the showstopper. There's green on the screen, which means... It's probably going to be in Debbie's show. Exactly right. And if you want it, you have to order it now, not yeah. wait till she's on at six o'clock. Exactly right. Not as snappy as what I normally do, but we'll take it. Uh, remember, before I show you the board, so in the showstopper, we'll bring you um, the aqua pen. So you're going to get those in the essentials. You'll also get the uh, three tubs of our amazing cosmic... Um, gilding flakes and then you're going to get this gorgeous pad as well beautiful pastel colors in uh, linen and also that sort of pearlized finish 24 sheets in there 250 gsm if you were to buy those three items uh, as a separate basket that would set you back 54 pounds or 69 dollars you are paying just an extra 20 when you grab these within the bundle and then of course you get all of the brand new dies with them too so it's actually if you're platinum it's an incredible buy 80 pounds or 96 dollars and for our us viewers as well don't forget you are getting free shipping on this bundle as well so it's crazy less than 10 percent of the stock now remaining it is make your mind up time whether you want to get this showstopper or not um, i can't think that we're going to be bringing this back in launch party later on um, just to quickly show you these dies again if you want to go individually again these are all still just about available individually the garden lattice johnny tells me um, still the favorite has been the favorite um, for quite a while through the show so that is number one of the uh, the faves the second one is this one here, which is the uh, Baroque frame. Do you know what, Johnny? We chatted about this earlier. Can you see that treble clef? A few people have commented, you know, you can see that beautiful treble clef detailing in there. Whether you're using these portrait or landscape, they look absolutely gorgeous. And hopefully, yeah, you can see from the cards we've just shown you with Sara there, the versatility that you've got with all of the different components here. This is the third most popular, uh, that gorgeous contemporary blossom. Then you've got uh, Sarah's. This was your favourite, wasn't it? The style I like swirls. the swirls. Yep. Um, so that's the fourth set you're getting. Uh, this is my favourite, uh, the Moroccan tile. And then lastly in the bundle is the uh, English Heritage. Uh, and as I've said, some wonderful demos across the board. Uh, you can check out Craig's um, pages for more inspo on that. He did a wonderful card to celebrate the King's coronation, um, which is soon, isn't it? Start of May. Uh, right. Last chance saloon uh, to grab that. Uh, is the vote in yet? It isn't. What I will it's tell all right. you. I've got so I was gonna say I've got some I can show you some cards if you oh, want. Oh yes, go on. You can look at my cards while you talk if you want. Okay. It sounded like you want to give some important information there. Um, well, I, 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 I'm always giving important information. I was just about to say what's coming up on launch party later on. Um, so hopefully we might be able to show you some more of the demos with these. If not, we're bringing back those cut in and cut out dies, which proved popular last week. Uh, we've got the quirky sentiments coming back as well on a buy seven and get one free deal. We've got the um, organized bags. We showed you those briefly in this show, uh, but those are coming back to you later on with um, bonus points plus uh, ribbon threading dies and an out of this world deal when it comes to the Academy of Colour, Flora and Fauna. Oof, I have a result. Oh, he has a result. There's your favourite card, by the way. There's your favourite die. Yes. With a little bit of paper piecing on. Um, are you ready for the result? Go on. Oh, look at that it. card. Do that's the tracks again, isn't it? Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm, on, then. I'm pleased, first off, because I get to keep the birthday card that you... Uh, oh, so it wasn't my shaker card. No, and it, it wasn't numero uno. And neither was it that one Ooh. or that one. Oh! Hey, they called call this at the start, didn't you? So it's three or four. Mega close between these two. The winner... Number oh, three. it was that one. Do you know someone called that before we even did the demos, didn't he? That, oh, yeah. I can't remember what right somebody called it and said it was going to be that one. Show. 
Wow, uh, I feel like I need to find out who that was, but what a fantastic show. Um, thank you so much, Sarah, it's been brilliant. I love it when you're in here getting creative and, and you've kind of shown just the versatility of this collection, haven't you? It's been lovely getting so many different ones to show. Honestly, it's been, I have thoroughly enjoyed it, guys, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, massive thank you, Sarah. Thank you to you guys for watching as well. Make sure you save this show if you bought uh, anything in it and make sure uh, that you go back and watch Wake Up Call from earlier. If you've got the showstopper in your bar, Basket, that needs to be checked out as a matter of urgency because it is going to sell out and um, thank you for such a brilliant show I will catch you in a couple of hours time uh, back with the fish we have got tons more inspiration for you as far as launch party is concerned but until then keep shopping uh, and we'll see you in a couple of hours bye for now